I'm gonna fucking talk about this situation, right? And I don't think you're live again. I don't. I'm not, I oh, just no, just pressed kidding. the button. Oh my god! You don't need to yell at me. Oh <laughs> Bolt in. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Um. Hi. Hey. This is no good. Okay. We gotta get to the books. That's right. We gotta get these books to get to Elder Library. Um. Okay. So. So. <laughs> yeah, so Jillian wanted to go as boss for Halloween, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going as Date, and Aaron's going as Hitomi, and she was like, no, at Halloween, like, when we're there in D.C., and I was like, oh, you mean to D.C., and she was like, yeah, we're gonna be on the town on Halloween, and I'm like, <laughs> so Jillian messes the messages the group chat. Jillian's like, hey, gang, who's looking to go out on Friday night? For these Halloween events around DC and everyone else I'm talking everyone else in the group chat there are five total people Jillian and I make up two of us there are two of us who are thinking it's a good idea to go Halloweening there are three of them who are like oh we only have the hotel until Friday afternoon we have to check out on Friday yep so we were like, yeah. now wait, uh, uh oh, oh no, and so, uh, so when did your flight leave on that day? My flight, so I, my flight left at like, I think I left like DC around like 7 and then I would get back around 10 um, Pacific time. Yeah. And I have this, yeah, so I was like, okay, perfect, like, I mean, I wouldn't be able to go out, out, but I thought maybe we could go out on Friday and then like spend the day doing chilling, doing stuff on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that didn't, obviously, I, like, well then, as soon as, like, I figured it out, I was like, oh, fuck, so I, like, emailed a couple people, because I booked my flight through the university, um, right. yeah, and so, like, basically, I got the same exact flight just on Friday now, Yeah. so. So, like, no pressure. I mean, well, yeah, well, it was, like, worst case scenario is I stay the extra night, like, again, I'm not already, like, I'm not paying for my flight. So right. I was like, I just split Airbnb with Voltage. We go fucking wreak havoc on the town Friday night. But then you had to like get your flight changed. So unfortunately now it is just me because I was like, well, my department has already reimbursed me for this travel. So I'm not going to try and change it now. So I just booked an Airbnb and I'm staying there now. But yeah, no, this is Jilly just be like, hey, we should go as this. And it ended up being like, oh, well, surprise. Well, thank God I about it because I would have like been like dude I would have been shitting my shit's pants creeks. I would have yeah. been like I would have been like oh no I'm dead well, ass. I, was gonna, I was like so sad because I wouldn't be able to go out for Halloween weekend because yeah. but now okay here's what I'm going as do you want to know what I'm going as what are you going as I already told you I'm going as a lemon stealing court <laughs> <laughs> from the freaking video and um the guy I've been chatting uh. with he's going as a lemon tree so, so you're gonna, I'm gonna stuff, like stuff add lemons, lemons in your fish nets. Dad, my, I have like I have like a bodysuit that I'm gonna wear and I'm gonna stuff lemons on it. That's banger tweet, my lord, right there. <laughs> banger tweet. I feel like a lot like people will either get it and love it, or people are not gonna get it and be like, why are you dressed like that? Why are you dressed but... like that? Well, it's better than when you went as fucking a policewoman <laughs> share. No, I was a sheriff. That's right. I was I've been making the Jillian you know, compilation. I'm you didn't talk about my Yuri costume from Doki Doki Literature Club. I didn't, unfortunately. That, that's probably one of my favorite ones that I've had. I actually ended up crocheting the sweater vest. Like, I sped crochet it. And then everything else I just got, I like got from either Amazon or the thrift store. And that's also when I got extremely, extremely drunk and I like threw up everywhere. That's right. That's yeah. right. Oh I my think, God. I, I think I've told this story, that's true. Too. Yeah, you have, you yeah. have. So, yeah. Luke, I have yet to find justification to buy a full-size Pepsi Man suit. Find, I really want a reason. Halloween. Yeah. Like or just, like, treat yourself. You're you know? what, like, 20? Buy a fucking Pepsi Man suit. Who's gonna stop you? Me? I've I'm not gonna also stop you. I've never heard of Pepsi Man, and now I'm looking at him, and it's slightly terrifying. I'm not gonna It's just lie. a Pepsi Man morph suit. It's like, no. Have you heard the Pepsi Man theme song? No. Oh my god, search Pepsi Man theme song okay, right now. Okay, now I'm gonna... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Pepsi Man! Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Pepsi Man themes. Okay. Oh, I get lyrics, too. 
It's fucking legit. This is the worst section of Minish Cap, by the way. Can I just say, like, I hate this part where you're trying to get the books back. Like, it's not clear where to go. I am using a walkthrough for this. I don't care. I, I think that this section of Minish Cap is a weak one, to put it very, very modestly. Oh, look, it's Dr. Wright, maybe. All right, I can't go there. I don't know how I feel about Pepsi Man. You gotta Is listen. Is he hot? I did Hello? listen to. Hey, do you know what I mean? Through the fierce land of the fearsome beast. I've been, here. I've been really into listening to like Japanese jazz music. Oh yeah. So I've been listening to a lot of Mayo Yosha Takanaka. Uh, good shit. It's very good for studying. Also, I. So, also fun fact today, I taught a class and I was teaching about radiation biology. Yeah, so you did I, your like, red bio the... bullshit. Yeah, well, I was like, message the professor and I was like, hey, I think I'm gonna like finish the lecture slides pretty early. Do you mind if I add like some sentimental material, like do some like case studies on like Alexander Levinko and the Demon Core? And he's like, yeah, totally. Do it. So, I found this like stupid video and it's like summarizing history Demon Core. And it was like basically like, what if we fucked with this critical mass? Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? <laughs> dude, what yeah. would happen? What it's would like that happen? Cartoon Network show, dude, oh, what would happen? I, Jesus, like it is so amazing how like stupid people were. Like, I mean, I get it. Like people didn't know exactly like all about radiation, but like, it's not good. Like Obviously. it's not like, like there's a reason Marie Curie's like casket's like shielded, you know, it's like, there's a reason you can only look at her notebook with lead gloves. Exactly. There's a reason, okay? There's a goddamn reason. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm in my slut era. You're Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah yes. Halloween weekend. Halloween. Full of lands of opportunities, and do you have any good Halloween weekend stories from like when you were uh, a youth in undergrad? Um, you know, the reason I started dating my ex-boyfriend is because of Halloween weekend. Tell me about your ex. Um, well, I met my ex through physics class. Um, and he's he was older. He's older. He's like six years older than me. Oh yeah. Um. Dog. So. So, uh, but basically, so he thought I was dating my friend because my friend was a big old flirt and would always flirt with me. And, um, but I was like, stop flirting with me, Connor. I like, I think John's cute. Like you should, like, I was like, he's going to think we're dating. Well, fun fact, he did think we're dating. So basically like, it was like when Halloween actually like was on a Saturday. So we yeah. went to this like bar that we always love to go to. And, um, yeah, I was like, I, I didn't really have a costume because I didn't expect that I was actually going to go out. Um, but I ended up go so like my go-to costume because I'm naturally blonde and my hair is blonde at the moment is like Regina George So I just yeah. like put on like a tank top and I had like, you know I cut out the holes in the boobs and then uh, like a skirt and some heels and as one does everything Yeah, and um, so I Basically a bunch of my like the guys that I hung out with my physics class were all gonna go out and so um, Yeah, so they all went out together, and I wasn't expecting John to be there, and then he was there, and I was like, oh, that's, like, really interesting and cool. I know! I was like, oh, shit! So, uh, like, he was wearing a fucking, like, Christmas sweater, and I was like, this is the most unoriginal thing. Hey, Shane, um, thank you so much for the subscription to Tier 1 for eight months on an eight-month streak. Why isn't anybody made media with a Femboy Incubus? I don't know, Shane. I'd be interested in seeing what happens with that. Maybe you should make it. Um, there you go. There's anyway. a market. There is a market. We can discuss the market for that after you finish your story. So basically, yeah. So then, um, so I ended up getting fairly drunk. <laughs> as one does. And, and he was as well. And so, like, we actually ended up taking these really cute... Um, if you actually go back on my Instagram, you can see the um, first photos we ever took together. Because we took photos together with one of my other friends who met us at the bar. Um, because he's again. Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> but anyways, so we're walking back. And I'm walking back to my place. Oh my god, I remember this now. Okay, so yeah, we're yeah, walking yeah. back to my place. And I'm like, you know, really vibing with John. And 
we my place used to be right by like the frat houses like that like the party frat houses because you can't actually party at the frat house so you would have right. to like go to some other places right right you have to go to like the satellite location because if yeah, they have yeah. parties at the frat house then like yeah. they get in trouble so he's like walking me back and i'm we're walking by the satellite frat houses and there's this like guy out there and he's like ready to fight somebody he's like oh, trying to yes. fight but he is like so fucking drunk and like i'm cold so like, you know, I'm like trying to hurry up. Oh, this might have been the second time we went out. I don't remember. But anyway, anyway it's, quite it's big a good story, like, all the same. Yeah, no, he's like trying to like hold the guy back, and I am like so far away. And my friend is also with me, my other friend. And I was like, "Don't be a dumbass!" Like literally, like stop. And he was like, he was trying to be all like nice and like help him. And he, the guy, was so drunk. I mean, like, like falling over drunk, like. But anyways, yeah, so point being, he finally comes back over, and he, I was like, are you good to drive? And he's like, well, I was just, like, planning on sleeping in my car. And I was like, don't sleep in your car. Like, just, I have a futon, so I sleep on my couch. So, basically, he goes in on my couch, and I'm like, do you need anything? And he's like, yeah, like, can I get, like, a pillow and blanket? Yeah. Um... Uh, like, yeah, you can this... get my pillows. <laughs> Wait. And, and so I like go and grab him and I grab them and I like put him in and I like I, he's like, Do you I was like, Do you wanna be tucked in? And he's like, Yeah, I do. So I, I took him in and I'm like, Do you want a bedtime story? And he's like, Yeah, I want a bedtime story. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, and I, I so one of my all time favorite books is Matilda by Donald Rawl. I'm Dr. Raw doll. Donald Rawl, what the fuck? Anyway, so I um, I actually went and grabbed the book and I, I read it like a chapter to him. And, uh, and how did he that make you feel? He was it was so sweet. He was like holding me around my waist and he looked up at me and like with like really loving eyes. And I was like, this guy's really cute. Mm -hmm. And then we dated for two years and then I broke up with him because he was boring as fuck. He was um, boring and I wanted I someone sold... more interesting. <laughs> I sold. Nah, I'm not gonna say that online. That's that would be really bad. DM me it. Mm -hmm. Don't do so, it. I'm gonna do it. Hello! Yeah, we ended up dating for like two years and then I broke up with him. Oh my god, really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I what know. What motivated you to do that? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Like, okay, so, like, his roommate was kind of, like, a neckbeard kind of dude. Like, okay, so his roommate... He, he, like, he lived with two other guys, right, in this big, like, this big house. So, like, basically, my boyfriend at the time lived in the basement, and then the guys lived in the uh, two rooms upstairs. And so the only shower was also upstairs. Bro, so I would go and stay over. Doing? I'm not, like, walking around naked. But, like, I mean, sometimes I would, like, be lazy and I knew nobody was coming. Well, okay, here's also, there's, like, I think one time that I thought nobody was going to be in the house. It's, yeah. I didn't, again, I never walked around naked. I had a towel on at all times. Right. But there was a couple times where, like, I I was, like, in a Fucking towel. Cat. One of his roommates came out and I was, like, hey. And they're, like, hey. And I was, like, okay. So, like, left. But, um, basically, I mean, I'm not a bad-looking person. I, I know sure. about that. Like, I'm pretty good-looking. Uh -huh. Um and so so his roommate is kind of like neck beardy like and yeah. so he loves wrestling all like the wwe right ways. <laughs> it's like wwe wrestling yeah and like has this huge so one of the more like famous like new wrestlers her name is becky lynch fucking love her she's dope as hell why he has like like full-on like fat head um oh does like, he have a full fat head wall cling of becky lynch in his room oh my lord and I am like, if I was like a woman and I went back to somebody else, like guys, like house, and like he has that there, my like lady boner would just go down immediately. <laughs> I was like, why? Anyways, the point being is like, like I mean, he's he was like not super successful in the dating department. Uh, I wonder why. Like, so, okay, like, like let's put it this way. I'm passionate about a lot of things. Uh, I don't put a lot of things on my walls because I'm also kind of like weird and that I expect to move a lot and don't put things on my walls just in general. No. But like, I would not put anything related to a person I find like attractive. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't I'm not the type to post waifu on my wall. 
like I don't think it's bad if you post it like in like if you have it like in your living room or something, you know? Like Oh yeah, no, that's fine. But like I don't know, it just feels weird to have it in the room. Like I just I couldn't sleep at night knowing Becky Lynch is looking at me. She'd be looking you know? down on you, dude. I do have a I do have a picture or I have a shirt of her. Oop. Ooh. But um yeah. I caramba, Jillian. But basically, he had this thing called Vodka Fridays. What? Where he would like play World of Warcraft with his friends or like something with his friends. Yeah. And uh, like, uh, like would take vodka shots every time they asked him to. Oh, so I heard he would get vodka this... Fridays. Like, no, like silly the... vodka. No, vodka. Yeah. Vodka. Vodka. Uh, also, Aaron says, I've changed voltage for the better or for the worse because we have now many things on our walls. That is true. We have a Danganronpa poster up on our wall above the fucking table made by my great uncle out of like really nice wood. Nice. <laughs> it's really funny. Anyway, please continue. Um, but what was I Vodka talking about? Fridays. Vodka Fridays. That's what it was. Yeah. So like he would have this huge bottle of red berries Ciroc uh. and would just drink out of it straight. Like Bro. yeah. Yeah, and so that's that's why that's how things started, and then that's you know, how you they... started dating. Oh wait, no, that's how you did no. that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was I... powered by cherry vodka. Christ. It's red berry. So okay. Not... Well, I guess it's like kind of cherry. Yeah. Damn it, I fucked up. But yeah, Jesus was... Christ. Like I've uh... I've done some shit in my time, but I've never done that. Um, how much? Jesus. I, how upset was your boyfriend? He never found out. Oh. At least that I know of. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. You got an edgy side to yourself, clearly. Okay. Can I get this book to tip, please? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> he he also the same guy just like bought me. I was like um I was like home this summer. Jesus uh, Christ. Yeah. So, <laughs> um I was like home this summer and I was bored and I wanted a uh, Pokémon uh, yeah. like brilliant diamond. Wow. And yeah, okay, that's I was whatever. like talking to him and I was like, "Yeah, I want it." He's like, "Okay, I'll I'll then make you the money." I'll buy it and for I was you. like, "Really?" Yeah, it was like this will buy it for you and I was like, "Okay, do it." I didn't think you would actually do it. He did it. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, Shane goes, uh, The Iba figure lives with me, but it is not mine. Okay, buddy, Voltage 3. Until this stream. Everybody, let's welcome Jillian Zex to the stage. <laughs> where He's actually going to be in call joining us in a little bit. Honestly, I he has not talked to me since I broke up with him via Discord server. Uh, you broke like... up with him via yeah! Discord? Jillian. That man can't use Discord ever again. No, it was so bad. Well, I like Discord breakup. Sounds like your relationship was in Discord. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, we like oh, I don't no. know. It was like long distance because I lived in Oregon and he lived in Tennessee still. So like, and uh, I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't coming. Like it was, it was something in the works for a while. But yeah, no, we were like chatting and I was like, I want to talk to you. Like, we need to talk. And he's like, okay, like, let's get in the Discord server. Oh. And I'm like, all right. And then that oh happened. It was God, really funny dude. because like he immediately deleted the server like right after we Oh broke my up. lord. <laughs> I just like, I'm like, I feel like a true gamer now. Like, nobody can like You're a gamer say I'm not a true broke gamer up with someone because over Discord. I fucking broke up with my, I've never my broken long term up with boyfriend. Over like, like we dated again for like two months or two years plus some change. Like, dude, my girlfriend broke up with me in person. Wow, bro. Multiple, multiple girlfriends broke up with me in person. Yeah. I've never had anyone break up with me over Discord. I don't I think I've ever up. seen anyone get broken up over I broke up with my high school Discord. boyfriend. Here's like the one of the shittiest things I also have ever did is like I I dated my best friend's ex-boyfriend, like a couple months after they broke up, 
and this guy was like, I want, he's like, let's stay together while you go to college because huh. I was a year older than him. Okay. Um, and I went out of state for college and I was like, okay. And then like literally like day one or two that I was like at school, I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I broke up with him over oh text. Oh my God. Jillian. I know. Isn't it so bad? I feel You're... I. The more I, I learn like about I you, the more I am This is the you... messy discord. Jillian. Just. <laughs> Jillian. I haven't even gotten to my story yet. Jill. Oh uh, no. Like... <laughs> Enlighten me. I'm, I'm so glad. I Jillian was gonna, goes like... for the jugular. Holy shit. I was, I was gonna. I was gonna send this. Um. I was gonna send this Twitch stream to the guy that I've been chatting with. Do it. And I'm really fucking glad I'm, I did it. Do it now. Do it now. No, I won't allude to no, anything ever be again. So bad. Look, he would be like, I hate you, and I never want to see you again. I'd look, be like, yeah, he would yeah, be right. breaking up with you over Discord, which is nothing new to you. We do have each other's Discords. That's usually what I ask on the second That's day. That's how I like, started hey, dating Erin. I just messaged her over Discord all the time. And she was like, I I'll message you over Discord too. And wouldn't you know, it works. That's true, she says, heart. And she's right. So yeah, like, uh... Discord relationships are cool. Just don't break up with people over Discord. If you can I see them, well, if you like can try, see dude. them in person, I couldn't. Literally, he we were long distance. He lived in Tennessee. At least I lived call in him. I was trying to have the decency. Have the decency to at least tell him with your own voice. <laughs> don't what? don't what send him over? a breakup text over Discord with the pog no. emote. With no, I, 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 we were in a voice channel together. I wasn't like breaking up with him over like text DMs. Bro, like, you made it sound DMs. like you broke up via Discord. No, DM. I broke up with like him over like we had like a server That's together. That's fucking stupid. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, Aaron says my ex broke up with me in person by telling me he loved me as a friend after an intense eight month relationship. Yeesh. Ew. Dude, I, I've always been the one who does the breaking up. I've never been broken up with. I... Well, I guess, like, my last kind of relationship was kind of mutual. Yeah. I've been but... on the end of a mutual breakup before, but I don't think I've ever, like, broken up with someone I... Like, it's either been mutual or not mutual. Well, that's usually how it goes, Voltage. Well... <sighs> I travel all the way. Thanks, here. Aaron. I Aaron told me that I'm a legend. I, I like like trust me. I look at my life and I look at my life five years ago and I look at my life now and I'm like, it, it's fucking wild. And I, I, you know what? And I've started to say yes to things. Like I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of first dates. I love dating people. I love like going on dates with people. Yeah. Um, it's are fun. As you can see from my Finsta, it's so fun. It's just like fun to like meet new people, and especially like dating the, apps are great because it allows you to meet on new your people. Finsta. Like, <laughs> like the story, your Finsta stories, I always, okay. I'm like the only person, like you're the only person I actually listen to people who talk on Discord. You know, <laughs> like I feel, I feel so like, <laughs> I feel so honored. Um. Okay, dating is not great because I'm an attractive female. I will agree with that. Like, I, because I have a really good male friend who was on the dating apps and was like, you know, I, I mean, I, I will show you like my Bumble likes is like over 900 likes. Yeah, like, you I've know, seen like, this. You've sent me the yeah, screenshot. Yeah, like it's not like it's again, and but also half these that, guys apparently. are just like not my type. Like they're not my type. Um, they are but... not my type. Okay? No, it's my type. They are not my type, and I do not want yeah. them in my life. Okay. Continue. Oh, oh my gosh! Have I told you all about the guy that like basically was flirting with me, and then I was like, "Hey, do you want to go out?" And he's like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "Hey, do you still want to go out?" And then he's like, "Oh, I got into a relationship this weekend." Yeah, you told and us, so should... and so that okay, was so that was blocked... the one that led us to getting to the point where it's like, "Would you ever do death threat?" Oh yeah. So he blocked me on Instagram, right? Yeah. And I was like, whatever, dude, live your best life. Whatever, he dude, just you're... unblocked me. Uh-oh. I know. And so now I'm, like, half tempted to see how much chaos I can cause. And so if I, like, message Jillian, him, I'm like, he's no. still dating that girl. No, I know, right? Jillian, like, that... no. No, um, dude. That is bad idea. I know, and if like, you do it, please tell me how it goes. I know, right? I've thought about it, but I need to be, like... I can't do it sober. I need to at least, like, be under the influence of something. To, Look, like... just drink it truly and message him on stream tonight. 
No. <laughs> um, I should be like, hey, you still dating that hoe? No, <laughs> no, don't say hoe. Just say, no, I'm not hey, you hoe. still dating that special woman? A special <laughs> Um. No, um. Oh man, I haven't really have I haven't really been dating lately. I've been dating this one guy, and it's been going kind of good. How so does he like, make you feel? Good, uh, nice inside, warm and fuzzy. No, People it's been are not nice. playthings, Jillian, except for boys who break up with. You. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but no, like it's he's um, a former Navy dude, but he's not nuclear Navy, so. Yeah. I flew all the way back and didn't grab the book. You're a fucking dumbass. <laughs> I didn't get the book. How did I not get the book? Oh no, my mic! Ah! Sorry, I just... My mic fell. Okay, um, my, my... I actually have a gripe about Minish Cap. Is the world is a too big of a maze. Like, why do I have to go th all the way around Lon Lon Ranch and back this way and this other way to get to the thing? I understand the game is a maze, that is the point of the game, but this maze is not pleasant when every room is the- p I just want an easy to traverse overworld once I get to a certain place, and instead I have to go the long way around every fucking time. Like, I can't go up because I can't swim yet. Once I'm able to swim, my complaints will be gone. My man, I haven't- I, I don't need an Eon Flute because I have a Wind Ocarina. Already, I have the Ocarina of Wind. Do you see this? I need to dig this hole when I will soon get the fishing swim things and I'll be fine. But until then, this world is just hard to get through and it's like, ah! Sorry, that's a gripe I have with Minish Cap. One that I didn't have actually when I started playing this game initially. Man, is Latias deprived? Bro, I haven't been fucking thinking about no fucking Latias or Eon Flute since fucking 2015, boys. Can you believe it? X and Y is nine years old. I never played X and Y. The like, last like real Pokemon game I played that I like from childhood was like Pokemon Pearl. Yeah. Um, I remember but... biking to GameStop near my parents' house. On the day it launched, I got there at 7 a.m. in the cold October. Like it was like 20 degrees outside that day. It was cold. It was like very fucking cold that day. And I biked, you know, like three miles total. Like it was not a far bike ride by any means. I've made it before. GameStop didn't open till 19. No, it didn't open till, no, GameStop didn't open. It opened at seven because it was the Pokemon worldwide release. And I had to um, fold newspapers that day as like a, a, a fundraiser Are you a little for paper boy? No, 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 oh. I was folding like papers together that would eventually be delivered. Mm. So like my fingers were covered in like ink, like newsprint ink. Yeah. And then, um, so like I remember biking there and it was like frigid fucking cold and I got there at like 6.30. So standing out in like 20 degree weather in a pair of shorts and like a hoodie and I'm just like curl wrapping it up and whatever. And it's just like, Oh man, I want to play this game. I want to play X and Y. I want to- It was not winter, Aaron. It was two days ago, nine years ago. That is not winter. <laughs> and I was just like, sitting out there, and I'm just thinking to myself, I want the place to open. And then like a line forms and I get the thing and I'm like, shit, I got a bike back now. I can't play this now that I have it. I said 20 degrees and my mind went, winter. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But like, I just distinctly remember that weekend, and then like, sad, sad fact, sad fact moment news, uh, about, uh, two weeks later we put my cat down, after 18 years, so, or, yes, yeah, 17 years, so like, that's how I remember Pokemon X and Y. <laughs> ah, shit. Rip in peace. Won't say the pet's name in case... You know. You want to feel skin stones? Yeah! We are going to feel skin stones. So yeah, that's how I remember. Uh... How that happened. How X and Y came out. That was nine years ago? Oh my god. You really do get over pets eventually. Ah! Even Jotari. 
Jotaro. 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 Dio. Jotaro. Kujo. Jotaro. God damn, Voltage. What do you mean, god damn? What do I do? Oh, I love you. Yeah, I slipped my brim on something. Keep moving, boy. I think I want to be in a Legend of Zelda dub of Minish Cap, and I want to be Ezlo. Hey, Alex Trevino, can you, like, do a Minish Cap live dub where I am Ezlo? I would really like that. I would be like, wow, you're so cool. You're really cool. I can't believe it. Wow. You know, like, I, I would make the perfect Ezlo, Alex. Please. Please. Do it. Do it. It was nine years ago, I guess you really do forget about pets. It's not that you forget about pets, it's that you like you you get over their their timely death. Sometimes I feel like someone is watching me. Dude, that's me on Twitch. I have no prophecy. Dude, what if I streamed my entire day forever? For like I would what if I just did like a fucking Ludwig-esque subathon thing where um, <laughs> I would just go to my lab and stream myself working exactly. on my lab work? I, I was like, how exciting would that be? That would be so fucking boring. That's like, yeah. It would nice. be literally just figuring out bugs in my code for like hours. And now we can swim to the Temple of Droplets. Look! Look at me! I can swim now! Look how cute you are. little. So cute! So cute! So cute! Do you play the game that really just made you squee? Like, squeal with the light? Have you ever been uh, like, Ooh! Whenever you've played a game before? Dude, okay, any dating sim. Okay, but which one? <laughs> Um, you can't say any. Then I might oh, think God. that you feel that way about fucking Hatoful Boyfriend or the fucking Normal Boots dating sim. Doki Doki. Uh, well, yeah, no. that's fair. Um, what is my normal favorite boots dating, dating sim? sim? That's a good question. We. I don't know. Like, I mean, I like my dating sim something else, like, in it. Like, you know, like, like Stardew Valley. Yeah, you, you know, like, like your dating sim with the side of gameplay. With the farming, yeah. Dating sim with the side of farming, because I was going to say another one for life, because I... I honestly You're I'm a, a big old slut girl. for freaking for freaking Marlin. A I season and I stories. always went for rock like when I was younger and then I realized that I'm a woman of culture and now I go for the depressed man that I can fix. Like Marlin. <laughs> yeah. Oh Luke, it's funny you mentioned the obviously she's referring to I love you, Colonel Sanders. The first thing I, I was like ever that. cast in, ever auditioning online at all was a live dub of I Love You, Colonel Sanders. I was the censor who made chicken noises. I don't understand why it was a role. I don't understand, like, why the person couldn't have just, like, you know, found chicken sounds and put that as the censor. But hey, I was cast, which means, like, that visual novel has, like, a very randomly special spot in my heart. It was also... It's fun. I like it. I mean, it's a cute little game, and it's free, because it's... yeah. I was, the, I was the sensor noise for the herbs and spices ingredients. That's it. You know what? Ain't I that been, some? Um, ain't that something else? I should have said Honey Pop. Yeah, you should have. I know. Dude, I played Honey Pop I, for the plot. I... okay. But actually, I forget. I I like sometimes when I'm bored and I just like kind of want to like do something mindless and I want to do like matching mechanics. I will play Honey Pop. I don't blame you. Uh, yeah. Um. That same ex boyfriend that I talked about earlier is the one that introduced me to Honey Pop, and we spent the entire day <laughs> one time. Who's your favorite? Basically, like, honey. Who's your favorite Honey Pop girl? Oh, God. And and like That's don't give question. me don't give me the other ones like from the later games. I didn't play those ones. I need and to I need to remember who's all in there because it's been a hot second. Okay, so um, so there's there's Tiffany, there's Audrey. I, I like, well, I like Tiffany, but I feel like she kind of reminds me of myself because I'm I'm blonde, and I I, I don't know. Jessie. I never go for blonde girls. There's Iko. 
I like the the bitch who uh, not the bitch bitch, but the bitch who's like uh, a professor at the department. Oh, Iko. Yeah. The, the kinky professor type. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's there's so uh, okay. So who do we have? We have Nikki's cute too. Nikki, I do like Nikki. Nikki. Mo the oh my gamer god. Girl. Oh, okay. No 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 Jillian. What one of the girls who was really into me in high school who I really wasn't into her kind of people looks yeah. really similar to Nikki. Like abs uh, uh. like change her hair to black and give yeah. her like rounder glasses and that is that is this girl who was like obsessed I I don't want to say obsessed with me, but she was definitely like it, more into me than she cared to admit. Which posed a problem when she actually had a boyfriend, and that boyfriend was, uh, eventually my senior year high school boys tennis co-captain. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't- that's Shit's funny. fucked, dude. It was bad. I don't know. <laughs> if we're talking about looks, like, purely looks, I'd probably- I'd probably say, like, I don't know. Well, looks Maybe and personality. Could... Like, it's a dating sim, Jillian. You can't just be like, know, oh, I'm only in it for the looks. You have to be emotionally invested in their I... plots. Okay, you have get, to be I into like supporting Tiana because she has invasive. a child. You have to be okay with that. You can't just date Tiana and not... Her name's... Or is it Kiara? It's 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 like Kiana. Kiana? I think, yeah, it's Kiana, right? <laughs> Kiana, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. the one named Kiana. Yeah, you can't um, not be in... To her and not be okay with her being having a kid it doesn't work like that yo yeah, are those yeah, minions yeah. no they're moles anyway. um i don't know i like i like um what was i saying oh you I, I like the secret i like the secret girls like momo oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and celeste, celeste. and Venus. celeste is yeah. cute I, Celeste is super cute we're we're talking about the fact that jillian played honey pop with her ex and so now we are talking about our favorite Honey Pop characters. Yes. Also, I, yeah. Jillian is just kind of a mess. But I'm a mess did, too. I, so it um, works out okay. I did spend uh, Valentine's Day in 2021 virtually stream. Like my boyfriend at the time virtually streamed Honey Pop 2 to me. Um, and oh, that's what we did the Honey entirety Pop of the day. Two. Yeah. Oh, there's also Lola, out. who is voiced by someone white. Wait. I think um, it's Kira Buckland. <laughs> Uh, yep, it is. That's awkward. Sure, I'll buy your kinstone piece for two hundred. We stop, fly, green, annoying. So yeah, uh, I, okay, I'm gonna be basic as fuck when I say that Tiffany was the first one I matched I with. I knew it. Because she looked like the girlfriend I had at the time. Oh my like, god. I'm serious. Like, they had the tennis girl, like, twin-tail braid kind of vibe happening. <laughs> like, she unironically wore a plaid skirt one time. Like, she looked like my high school girlfriend. And so I was like, oh, this works out conveniently. Oh my god, no. Sigma, no. What's Honey Pop? Honey Pop oh, is an arrow no. gay bejeweled game that has really, really, really good music. It does. It's Honey uh, Pop's honestly, music it, has no business being as good as it is. It's a fun game, though. It's I a mean, it's a bejeweled game where yeah. you eventually have sex. Yeah. You have sex. And you have sex by playing match three. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you, it's, make, it's, you make various women orgasm by playing match really three. It's really great, like when you, so basically when you take them home, like you have to have like three or four days with them before they like let you go back. And uh, when you take them home and you do the final matching game, they you, you hear the sounds in your ear of, uh, yeah. It's and then so at the end, funny. when you actually, like, when you actually, like, are finished, like, you're done, it, there's just, like, it's, like, the noise, and then it's, like, reverb. It's really, it's, like, <laughs> just, like, fades out. It's, like, so funny. And then, and then you get the photo. What, of, what do you, what? You know. The photo? At the end? Yeah, the photo. When the first time, the first time you romance somebody, you get a photo. 
Yeah. And it's of them typically in like lingerie. In a in a, um, uh, in a, in a compromising in a position. position. Yes. One that you shouldn't make your desktop wallpaper. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I need to tell you this right now. There is a first year <laughs> PhD student at the University of Michigan no. in nuclear no. engineering. Who no. has a figurine, an anime girl figurine at his desktop, mm. and they boob mouse pad oh my for God. his mouse pad, and an anime girl wallpaper for his computer at his desk, and he apparently has on canvas his profile picture is an anime girl. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Now this is all alleged. I don't I have not seen these for myself. But oh, apparently really? this exists and this guy is just living his best life. <laughs> it is insane. It is wild. Anyway, uh yeah, so uh yeah, don't make the honey pop pictures uh your desktop wallpapers. Um or profile pictures, or whatever. <sighs> but I will say that the music in Honey Pop has no business being as good as it is. Like, are you telling me, Jillian, have you heard the track Water Park? Yes, I have. Water Park goes so fucking hard <laughs> in being absolutely the perfect Water Park song I have ever heard in my goddamn life. It is like going to a water park converted into music form. It is exactly what I think of when I think of going to a water park. It is like it, there is no better canonical water park music. It's so good. Voltage. So, yeah. I know I this saw is your a DM. lot. I fucking love you. I saw <laughs> your DM. I know. Look, I, just to I wrote tell you that. in in the summer of 2019 when I was still experimenting with the whole idea of writing about things I enjoyed. I wrote an essay, a very not good essay. Ooh, temple drop. I love temple. I love this music. I wrote a not very good essay on how Honey Pop soundtrack has no business being as good as it is. I love this dungeon so much. It's my favorite music in the game. Oh. Wait, I gotta take a cute selfie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, dude. I gotta just put the fucking skates on. You gotta wear... You gotta skate. You gotta skate. You know? I just so, yeah. dyed my hair. I got my hair redyed again, finally. Oh, and yeah? it's, like, tinted red, and I feel like a really hot bitch. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Thank you, bro. I'm, I'm happy for you. Like, genuinely. Tag this SRS for serious. But like, oh my god. Also, not to keep talking about Honey Pop, but I will oh I will definitely say that it is my favorite Britney Lauda performance. Britney Lauda, excuse me, performance. Like, I think ever. I don't think anything can top Aubrey, or excuse me, Audrey, just cussing out uh, Kiara, or Tia... Kiana. Her name is Kiana. That's it. I don't think there's anything that can, like, go beyond that in, like, a video game. In, like, a video game like that. You know what are I mean? Are you talking about... Wait, are you saying, um, Audrey? Is yeah. that the voice actor for Audrey? Y yeah, Audrey, Brittany Lotta. Like, yeah. They're cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know what? I'm not opposed to it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Look, Honey Pop is a fine little game. <laughs> Reminds me of the Michelle Ruff hentai clip where she's saying a bunch of homophobic slurs? You're telling me that Yukari Takaba called, said, said a homophobic slur? Oh no. That's not good. Shane, give me that. Oh, my, my lab mate, give me. Party's starting around 9 tomorrow at their address. You can park in any of the uncovered spots. Well, you're about to... There's a party tomorrow? Yeah, it's, Send me the... it's 70s themed. Oh, fuck. I love a good 70s theme. Damn it. That was I'm my birthday wear, party. I'm going to wear the same wig I wore for when I wore... When I was dressed as something for the Amori stream on Monday. 
and uh, I'm gonna wear like my round sunglasses. My only lament is that I shaved, so I can't do like just the shittiest oh, fucking have. goatee you've ever seen in your oh, life. Oh man. Um, I, but... so I did, yeah, I did a 70s themed birthday party. And um, my all my friends are guys because welcome to being yeah. in a STEM field. I should just I have, go like, as like an friend. old man from the '70s who was like grew up in the '40s who like still thinks that it's okay to just tell women to go back. To the game. There you go. <laughs> I should just do that. That would be funny. Like be the buzzkill. Anyway, sorry you're saying. Um, I did have a bunch of guys show up like wear that like, same like goatee mustache combo. It was beautiful. I I cried a little bit. I was so life. happy. As a man, it was fun. As a man who can grow really bad facial hair, you gotta just go for it. Just once in your I life. I wish I could grow facial hair. I just want to like have a beard once, just to like. It gets itchy. Have a beard. Like you know? the longest really my long. facial hair was was probably this summer, when like mm. we went uh, for a wedding. Oh, I fucked mm. that up, dumbass. Um. Shut up, Shane. We don't talk about egg behaviors on stream. Um, but like, it's sort of, I don't remember, what was I, what was I in decora for? Oh, it was, oh yeah, it was for the funeral, that's what it was. It was the funeral, and like, we went, and I hadn't shaved in a while, and then we were gonna go canoeing for the fourth. And then like, it just so happened to, um be the case that my facial hair was at its longest and it was maybe almost an inch long at that point like not long enough to be at all significant or substantial i done goofed this room is not easy um so yeah it's just uh it they're they're fine i don't rec recommend it one way or another because like there's only so many people that look good with beards everyone's like oh you look better with facial hair and I'm telling sure. you that that's not true for yeah. everyone. Myself, uh, as an example, because uh, me growing a beard does not look good at all. So, that's that. Anyway, Shane was joking about egg behavior. Jillian, do you know what an egg is? I do not. Well, I mean, I know what an egg is. Like, no, I have... Egg, egg behavior is the behavior that people do, like, who are trans but have not determined that they are trans yet. And so oh. they haven't hatched, if you know what I mean. Like, and I hence got it's that. hatched. So, like, it's... Indeedly it's do. Like, it's like being in the closet, yes. but you're not... Yes. You're not aware that I you're mean, in a like, closet. I, I don't feel like a woman all the time. Though that's I okay. usually identify as a woman, but I don't feel like I don't feel like an annoying hey, yo, that's to, like, pretty fine, dude. Yeah, like it's just like eh. Like I think it'd be fun to like have a beard for like a day. But like that would be it. Like I don't want a beard forever. Plus I'm I'm naturally blonde, so like blonde my, my beard. family does not grow like facial hair at all. Like Jillian, we, you're we're not me. A, Oh my god. Yeah. My facial hair grows three different colors. It grows I black, love... it grows blonde, yeah. and it grows like this brownish red. It is the it is fucking strange. Oh, I got yeah. the boss key, big key. Anyway, Shane says people accuse me of being an egg for playing girl characters in games a lot. That's okay. You can play as the girl if you want. I don't feel like it says much about you beyond that, but who knows? I play as the boy, because I think playing as the boy reflects me more. But, that doesn't mean I wouldn't play as a girl. I mean, I literally went for Halloween 2019 as Kaide Akamatsu. I'm not, like, concerned about any of that. But, people seem to be invested in making me either a femboy or a trans girl. Don't let people tell you what you are or what you are not. Like, you know you best, except for, like, yeah, true. you know. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. So, like, you know, you can be a little fluid if you want. That's the point. Exactly. Fuck it. Fucking fuck it, mate. Look, it's the thing in the ice. Hey, well done, Zelda. Zelda. Wait, Zelda. This Zelda. looks like... Well done, Zelda! This looks to be the element, all right. Uh, crikey, but what will he do? He can't even touch while it's trapped in that ice. 
I'll need to melt it off somehow. Crikey, mate. Dude, look, I love that. Because you see the boss literally frozen right there. It's so cool. Because it's frozen. It's... Let it go. Did you enjoy frozen? How do I, I die? Yeah. <sighs> Did you want to be Elsa? No, because I was like, what? It was like 2013 or something when it came out. So? Like, not really. You can be a Disney princess if you want. I Thank literally you. had a friend. I... Fucking, there was a girl in my dorm who, like, you didn't take her to be the type, but she was like, I've never been to Disney. And so for spring break, freshman year of college, I went to Disneyland with my friends and I pretended that I was like seven for a day and it was the best experience Dude, I've ever had. Dude, I respect that. Yeah, no, I mean She'd like- She'd never been, so she yeah, went. Yeah, and it's it's great to feel like a princess. Like it's it's very nice to like, you know, but like you know, just dress up. Like I'm excited as fuck for this gala because I never, well, I mean, I do dress up, but I never like dress up like don't that. Like I don't go- dress up like a princess. No. I like dressing up. I like being girly, quote unquote. I like you know, I was, doing stuff like I that. S yeah, you just turn druid girly. <laughs> I need a, to figure out if I should cover up my arms for for the gala. The gala. Uh, yeah. The gala. Yeah. Honestly, I got a three-piece suit. I'm ready. It's black. See, like, I have this I really black... pretty dress that I thrifted from Portland, like, forever ago. And I haven't worn it yet. And I'm like, ooh, like, I could wear it for the gala. But I don't know. I'm like, also, like, what if I just went shopping for a new dress? Like, you know, like, and I feel bad, like, because I already had this, like, really pretty thing, but. Just do it. Why not? What's stopping you? Money. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> when my parents came to town, my mom knows that I'm the worst person to go shopping with because I am the type of person to find like one article of clothing be like this is it and be done and yeah my mom is like well what if you go to this other place and try and some other stuff there maybe you'll find something you like more it's like but I like this yeah. so I'm like the worst person to go shopping with so when I told mom hey mom I need to go shopping. She was like, oh boy, we can go shopping together. And I'm like, yeah. And it's going to take all afternoon because I am, I need these things and whatnot. And yeah. like, just, oh, it's just so, so fucking ridiculous and silly. I think that's the, the boy in me. It's, it is the boy in you. Yeah, my brother's like a very, not, you know, like, and once he's got it, he's like, okay, this is good. Like, let's Bro, go. Like, you know? shoe shopping takes under 20 minutes. <laughs> I do not like just doing a ton of time to just go friggin' shopping for whatever I need, you know? Like, I know what yeah. I I know what yeah, I like, you know what and you I know like, what I feel and good. And you know in. what you want, yeah. Like, there's, there's very little times that I'm gonna be like, I don't think I'm ever going to wear a shirt quite like this. So, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah. But maybe I will. No, I don't plan to be wearing. Horizontal stripes don't really work on me. Like, I yeah. do not think I look good in horizontal stripes. It doesn't matter what you think. It's what I think. Mom. This is cute. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we went shopping for clothes, and I got a three-piece suit. So now go. I have a black tie. I have a black jacket and I have a black vest and I do not intend to wear the vest with a pair of jeans I think that is like one of the most uh, formal ways you know like I don't I've, I've seen very few people pull it off in in settings I have seen it pulled off I don't think I can pull that off and so I'm not going to you know you can't wear a vest jacket and jeans it's so mm -hmm. tacky in my opinion like i just think it's bad like i think it might just be because the weird creepy dude at my high school who like had a mustache and a ponytail at age 16 like you know like it just that's what he would wear for like a lot of just days and it was just like ah buddy man i can't i know you're my third singles on my tennis team but like I can't do this with you, buddy. Like, man. Ugh. I cannot 
Like, just imagine wearing a vest, like a suit jacket vest and jeans. It's... It, it's no no do you want to appear like you you like oh I can't do it man I really can't do it so that's my opinion on that so you'll never see me wear a vest without a jacket unless it is part of the or excuse me you won't see me in a vest without a jacket while also wearing jeans unless it's the matching pants then I will do that otherwise I will not do that because that's a bad idea Anyway, that's my fashion rant. How do we feel about Congrats. my fashion rant? I, I feel all the things about your fashion rant. What do you feel? I, I, I feel... Yes. To be honest, I was paying half attention. That's understandable. <laughs> yeah, so... Look, uh... I barely pay attention to my own streams, let's be real. Truché, true, true. Truché. <laughs> True Shay, I am fucking man. Today I like am going to go to bed at like 9:30, and I will be so happy. Bro, that's so good. Uh, that's in 45 I... minutes for me. <laughs> it's a little bit longer for me, but I have like a desperate. I've been like in a really a big housewife. baking kick, so like a I a desperate um, what? Kick? A baking? Oh, I thought you said. I don't know what I thought you said. Baking. I don't know what you thought I said either. I, yeah, baking. I, I don't know. Baking, baking. Yeah, yep, like, baking. like food. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, dessert. Yeah. I um, heard waking, I think, because you were talking about sleep. Waking? I'm in a big waking mood. I wake, I, I wake, bake. You know? I wake, I bake. I call it a dake. I call it a dake. Why, why did you tag blind? Why don't I tag blind? In your stream. You have voice acting blind in English. Oh, blind playthrough. Oh, I should probably make that clearer. Oops. Yeah. No, like, most of the games I've been playing... Oh, no. I have to push a thing onto the ice and the snow and shit. Okay. The last couple games I've been playing, right? They've been the first time I've been playing them. So, I think it's fair to say that's a blind play. There you go. I just should use blind play as opposed to blind. Probably a good idea. Clearly, uh, I don't think we do. We do be not seeing. We do be. Hmm. Come on. What's the craziest thing that we could post on the ANS student Discord that was made recently that would like warrant like the most reactions in that in that friggin' place? What's like the most controversial thing we could just immediately? I think post? we should call. I think we should start calling the reactor core the re the reactusy. 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 bitch. Reactusy. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. Okay, I gotta redo it then. Shit. Reactusy, bitch. <laughs> reactusy, bitch. Reactusy, bitch. Ten twenty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Uh, Honeypop 2 dropped on your birthday last year, Shane. Shane, have you played Honeypop 2? Have you played Honeypop 1? Shane, have you have you played a game like that? Shane, if you, you have. Play Honey Pop 1. You never played Honeypop before? You can't play it on Twitch.tv. That's a banned game. It is indeed. Haven't played many arrow gays? That's barely an arrow gay. It's a puzzle game, first and foremost. Honey Pop is the puzzle of our generation. In an internet era full of coomers, it falls to a video game to supply it to everyone to do it properly. OG Fate is an arrow gay? Ugh. Arrow gay? More like arrow. Oh, I was gonna say it. Say Nothing. it. Uh, no, I can't. Coward. I know. <sighs> Told your boy, tell him. What if, like, instead of every you, it was just a yawn? <laughs> Soldier boy, tell him. But what if, like, 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 you know, and like, and um. Ah, it sure is dark in there. 
It's so no, dark, I can't um, see my beak in front of my face. Watch your step. I... Don't want you to trip over nothing. Don't want you to trip over nothing. Dude, I got commissioned by an Aussie a little bit ago. And the first thing he, like, says in response to me, he goes, Woo, mate! I was like, ah, he said it. Those lines work epic, dude. Can I, like, suck things off of you? I don't think oh, I I'll suck the things off of you, Shut baby. Up. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, soccer has a goalie doesn't mean he can't score. Jillian. <laughs> Jillian, I will hang up. Aaron's gonna come out of, like, the, like, hiding and come I out and, I will literally like, kill hang me. up from this call, Jillian. No! <laughs> Bolt it! It's a job. I have a girlfriend. I play with all my married friends. And I love it's her dearly. You play with all your married friends? Who do you know that's married that you flirt with? Who, you I flirt have a with friend a married from undergrad person? who is literally married and he's okay, been like dating you know his wife for you know like 10 plus years. You know what? That's true. There's a girl from my dorm from freshman year who is now married and has a child. I'm one of my best friends is married. Like. I'm 25. I have 25 plus year old friends. Uh, so like, there are people I knew who are my age. I knew them in high school. They yeah. are now parents. They're yeah, actually terrifying. They, what the fuck? Okay, this is a really good design dungeon because you, the dungeon's path takes you right back to where you were, and it does a figure eight. It's a pretty uh, awesome dungeon design. No, like Jillian, she has a child. There's a girl from my high school class who, like, is maybe a month or two older than me. She has a child and is pregnant with her second already. Jesus. It's just... Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that is indeed a thing. It fucks me up. I'm 24. She's 24. That's fucked. Yeah. I mean... I mean, my mom was married when she was my age. I know. So, my like, my dad wasn't. My mom and dad got married when they were like thirty. A lot of people 31. like I've like talked to. It's like yeah, like I don't, I don't know. My I don't think stuff. about my parents' relationships before my parents' relationship. I do know some things about my mom's old relationship though, and it's just like, oh boy. They were very serious. My mom broke up with her boyfriend at the time. At age 28, they had been dating for three years. My mom broke up with her long-term boyfriend, I think either at 28 or 29. I mean, if you're not gonna, like, I mean, honestly, at that point, like, you know, it's kind of like shit or get off the pot. No, you know? like, and like, he was going to medical school in Canada and he was mm. like wait for me and my mom was like I've been doing this for three years I'm, I'm not gonna wait I'm done waiting I mean that's yeah like she knows what she wants and she was like I'm not gonna wait for you I mean I respect it yeah she, 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 I mean like I she told me like he asked her if or like yeah he asked her if she would wait for him and she thought about it and said you know I don't think I will and then they broke up. And that's... That's legit. I mean... What, you're gonna stick in a miserable time? Like, having, like, you know? Right. Like, I see no reason not to. Especially because it was gonna be long distance. Because she was in, yeah. like, a, a full-time position in the town... In the city that they were in. And it was like, well... This guy's going to med school at age 28. So he's probably not gonna, like, come out of there and have much time. And exactly. Then, and, like... like you know, she has... Are, are you just expecting me to up and move everything when I have, like, a full-time career that, like, I can advance in? Because the year is, like, 1994? Nope. Yeah. 1991? Um, you know, like... It's just very... Didn't know that about my mom. And now I do. Yeah. And it's just like, okay. I mean, 
just like shows your worth again like you know what you want and like you shouldn't settle for somebody or something oh, totally. like, you know like that was like part of like why i broke up with my ex is because like you know even long distance now sucks but oh, and totally. i mean like with covid and everything i was like you know he was finishing up school and i was like well come and like move in with me like i miss you so much like we're three hours apart and like you know but yep he never did and so yeah ripperoni so that's how it how it goes it do it do be it do be like that it wait no that. i don't want that i want I want that am i yes thank you okay so, yeah, I don't think about my dad's dating life, though. I don't think he's ever talked about his dating life. So, my brother, uh, my brother is five years younger than me, and he's currently moved in with his girlfriend. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting. He's, yeah, and I've never, I've never lived he's with younger than another. Like, me, too. Yeah. Holy shit. He's yeah. 21 and moved in? No, he's 20. 20? And he has moved in with his girlfriend. He's been dating for less than a year. Oh boy. Yeah. At that age. I mean, I'm probably gonna end up getting married before I do, which is like, you know, something, but whatever. I'm gonna lose <laughs> this fight. Oh no. That's still crazy. But then you think about, like, my grandma, good old grandma, who I've lovingly regaled everyone of on stream multiple times prior. Like, Grandma got married at like 19, 18, had her first child at 19, like had yeah. like, you know, I told grandma like, oh, grandma, she asked me if I was having kids soon. And I was like, grandma, I'm 22 when she asked me. And she's like, I had your dad at 22. And I was like, grandma. I'm like, it's, yeah, Oops. like, I don't know. It's very surprising because my family like really does not pressure me about relationship stuff, you know? But maybe it's just because, like, well, and I'm like, like, she's a farmer. Uh, she's used to, like, you know, having five siblings and yeah. doing whatever, which is true because my dad had four other siblings. She had three siblings. Her parents both had six siblings. Like, Jeez. you know, yeah, just coming from big families. Yeah. Well, you got to start big young farming and families. Kind of like, yeah. Love her to death, though. Grandma, did I tell? It's been probably a little bit since this happened, but like, um, when Aaron and I first went to the cabin when we were like first dating, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Grandma found out that I was at the cabin, and of course, like you know, because one of her grandsons is at the cabin, she's gonna come out and visit. Because Grandma does that now because she can, um, and people will tell her not to, but she's gonna do it because she wants to. Mm -hmm. And so she'll leave her town home, where she, her elderly community, where she lives, and is not a fan of. And she'll drive to the cabin, and she won't tell anyone besides the people who are at the cabin that she's coming out there. <laughs> and then she'll drink with them. So Aaron and I were at the cabin, and Grandma comes over, and she's like, "Oh, I got some Tennessee honey in the in the fridge. If you want some, I was gonna have my, you know, my happy hour." I have every so <laughs> every so often out here. Yeah. I like doing that. And I say, you do that often, girl? She's like, oh, you know. Like, she she says, you know. The, the stereotypical Midwestern Scandinavian adage of saying everything by saying nothing um, is just, like, so amusing because this is October of 2020. So, the election is in full swing. It is, like, the perfect time to just stay in your sort of preferred social zone, I guess. Like, don't try and leave your bubble. Mm -hmm. Like, you can, you can if you want, but don't, don't, don't do that. Because you're just <laughs> gonna be in for a time where no one is happy. And, like, we're, we're going here, and, like, you know, I'm pretty liberal, Aaron's pretty liberal. I don't talk about politics with dad's side of the family because everyone knows my dad as the liberal one. Mm. Which is like, again, fine. It's, you know, 
he chose a different life and he believes in different things. But like, um, it's very interesting. Yeah, the liberal city slicker. Like, to the point where one of my uncles got mad that he got a Polk County, Iowa license plate because now everyone's going to think he's from the big city when oh he goes and visits their farms as a part of Farm Bureau business. You yeah. know, like, it's, it's like that. So we get to the cabin and we go on a nice forced march and then Grandma comes along and has her happy hour where she proceeds to drink her special, which is Tennessee honey whiskey with like a splash of ginger ale and she'll just drink that and you know what i respect that that's my grandma, like a good drink it is a good drink it was the first drink i ever like my legal first purchase that wasn't for the fucking wop that i would make at the evening of my 21st birthday um yeah it is really good like aaron you've been to the cabin i've made one of those for you because there's just let, let's put it this in perspective at the cabin, there is just a bottle of Tennessee honey whiskey in the fridge at all times. Like, it is for when grandma goes to the cabin. It is her thing, and you can drink it, but if you finish it, you better replace it before grandma shows up and there's no Tennessee honey whiskey. So in that regard, you know, that's maybe... whatever, that's that's just how it is, and we're not going to change it at this point. Um, And so... Grandma comes out and she's like, oh, I can make you one of my things because, you know, you're you're 21 now, right? And I go, yeah, I'm 22. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know. And <laughs> I wouldn't really worry about it that much because she just asks that as a formality, if ever. Like, I think she might ask that only because, like, she forgets how old we are. <laughs> um, which is fine. Her memory is not as good as it was. But, um, you know, she, she sits down and... One of the first things after we get to talking about, you know, how we've been up to and how's everything and oh, Craig's been to town recently and oh, what did you do with dad and oh, Craig and Craig and you are going to lacrosse, huh? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And just like, then grandma, the next question after she asks Aaron, oh, you know, where are your, where's your family from? Like, what's your heritage? <laughs> My grandma's very proud of our Norwegian heritage. To the point where, like, dad will not get a 23 in me for, besides the fact that, like, he doesn't want to send his DNA data to companies yeah. or whatever. But, yeah. like, also so that he doesn't have to live with the potential that, like, he isn't, in fact, 100% Nor Norwegian. Norwegian. Yeah. But grandma's very big on that fact. Like, grandma has asked every, like, person, partner that she meets... Like, when she met Aaron, she asked, Oh, where is your family from? When, like, Matt's partner, when she met Matt's partner, she asked, Oh, where's your family from? Oh, you know, we're 100% we're Norwegian, you know? And she's very proud of this fact. Like, not in a supremacist kind of way. I promise, I swear, my grandma is not one of those chuds. Um... Like, she's so proud of that heritage because, like, it's how she was raised with, like, where where she is because she lives in the largest community of Norwegian-American farmers in the United States. So, like, it makes sense, you know? She was happy to find out that Erin had farmer ancestors, that her oh grandparents God. owned a farm. Like, so that's Grandma. So that was the first question she asked Erin. The second question was, like, how do you feel about Donald Trump? <laughs> and, and she's like, well, she, the way she phrases, like, do you like Trump? And I just went, no. Like, I said it very quickly. I was like, no. Like, that's mm. all it is. And like, and, you know, my family has their politics and like, it's their politics. Um, but like, it's just very amusing to me. Some of the family members I thought were more like conservative or actually more much more liberal and some family members i thought were pretty liberal were like uber conservative mm. um and like grandma was like you do like trump and i was like no and she's like oh me neither you know i talked to some people and they they like him and i don't like him he doesn't feel you know he doesn't feel real and i said yeah i i get that i get that grandma i feel that 
I understand that. I hear where you're coming from. She's like, you know, literally, he's... my grandma. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. She goes like, you know, you know, I I don't know how much I feel about that Biden guy, but you know, he's the kind of guy you could go get a beer with. You know, he he feels he he's a good he's a good guy. <laughs> so so let this be known that there is is in fact a person who would vote for a candidate based on if you could drink a beer with them. So, yeah. So that's what Aaron's first, like, three conversational topics were. How Graham is feeling, uh, how her ancestry is, and how she feels about Donald Trump. No one, I respect that. Grandma knows what she wants. Thank goodness. Yeah, and so I, that was when I found out that Grandma voted Democrat in the last couple of elections. She voted for Obama despite thinking that, you know, I, I still think he's a Muslim and he wasn't born in the United States. But, you know, he's a good guy. So, like, my grandma. Ah, I love grandma. She's gonna live forever. Anyway, sorry, you were saying. My grandma voted for Trump because everybody told her not to. Oh. And I was like, grandma, that's not a good reason. That's a bad reason. Yeah. Oh, man. Would you vote for a political candidate because people told you not to, Jillian? No. If they were, like, I, liberal? I base, I base my fucking decisions on who I vote for on, like, my ideals and what I find important in my life. Yeah, that's fair. That's understandable. Who'd you vote for in the last election, Jillian? I voted for Biden. Yeah. You didn't have to answer that if you didn't want to, but you did. Um, Look, I voted for Biden too. I my first two elections, I've had to vote for Hillary and Biden. Like, I have not had a fun candidate who I believe in. No, not really. And it's like interesting because, like, again, like nuclear is such like a bipartisan topic. Really, that's yeah. also like, you know. But. Yeah. Like, I admit, I'm pretty liberal. Like, but like, ugh. I don't like the candidates they fucking put no. there. They disappoint no. me. Anyway, that's my one politicking. Did I grab a key? I did grab a key. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm a quadruple Aquarius. Me too, Shane. Like, I wouldn't vote for an You're Aquarius. You're a triple Leo. A You're a lie. I'm a quadruple Leo. Get it fucking right. I'm so Get sorry. Get it through your thin little skull. Uh, sorry, my like cute little feminine skull does not. Yeah, know your fuck fucking you're mongoloid about. girl brain. Yeah. <laughs> Hear that, everyone? Jillian's got a mongoloid girl brain. I legally cannot vote for someone who does not purify their water with moon water. Oh, yeah, that I sense. feel that. Look, I wouldn't want to vote for a candidate who doesn't drink moon water either. Jillian, have you ever, like, attempted to go down the crystal rabbit hole no i do no. enjoy a good zodiac like you know like I, th I do think zodiac signs are fun and i do enjoy like you know like like learning about people's zodiac signs and stuff but i don't put like much like weight into it yeah okay like, but like you would never get into the like crystal thing no no like and I'm not even talking like, you know, the, oh, this pink quartz makes me feel good. I'm talking the blue stuff, you know? No. No? No. You wouldn't get into crystal? Are you crystal? talking about meth? <laughs> <laughs> I do not understand what you're trying to tell me. Yeah, I was making a meth joke. I got that now, thank you. Walter White. Jillian is the new Walter White, everyone. I don't even know how it goes. Cerulean blue hue. Oh man. Damn it. Would you would you ever try crystal meth if given the option to? Probably not, but I feel like you would. I would not. Really? I've seen meth problems, but like mm. you know. Rural Iowa sometimes has meth problems. It do be like that. It's not the greatest. So I don't think I would. 
I feel like that would be irresponsible. Irresponsible. Michigan has an opioid problem? Dude, states... states, just states. A lot of states have opioid problems. Surprise. Ugh. At least, like... A lot of, um... Recreational drugs are getting legalized in places, at least, which I think is a good step forward to just, like, beating Reagan-era policy. Because, uh-oh, politicking time again. Reagan-era policy is not my favorite. No, I think that's a general consensus. Hopefully. It very well may be. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is not easy. Dang it. Yeah. And whose fault is that? Ronnie fucking Reagan. There was a kid at my high school who was like, you know? Like, he was like this dude who ended up joining a frat. I think he ended up joining Sigma Chi. Um, but he was like, you know, man? Like, I think that uh, Ronald Reagan's policy, like, wasn't that bad. Like, you know? Like, he's a guy who would, he's a kid I would vote for. Like, yeah. I'm like that. <laughs> His name was, he went by Puggy. Interesting. Like, he was, he, you know, if, if you didn't know what the fuck was his deal, you would think he would be like on uppers during certain just parts of life. Cause he was like this dude, like five, five, seven. So like, you know, slightly below average height, but mm. just like ball of fucking energy. And eventually it turned into fratty energy because like he started getting really into cigars to the point where he brought a cigar to um, graduation or whatever. Like this was one of the guys I went to parties with in high school. His name was Puggy. Um, he was the character. I tell you what, like he, whenever I went to high school football games, cause I went to them cause my high school's football team was actually like pretty good. Um, Whenever we went, we would always go to parties afterward, and Puggy would always get me into them because he just knew all the people in like the rich suburbs where like the remain mm. like if you think about Twin Cities suburban areas, like there's neighborhoods where frat kids are gonna come from. And mm. he knew all the kids from those neighborhoods. So it was like we would go to those neighborhoods parties for like after the football games because we would play them in football and then we'd be like, Oh yeah, dude, let's just go to a party in a dino. And like, you know, that's... <laughs> I don't think anyone would ever say that in real life, ever. Mm. Um, if you're from Minneapolis, you'll know why. Um, but, like, we would go to these things, and Puggy would always get me in because I would drive, so that would let him drink, right? So I was like, yeah, I know Puggy. I'm his... I drive him. Like, ah, oh, you're epic. So, like, you know, he would go with, like, his friends or whatever there, and then I would be the one... Or, no, no, no. What would happen was he'd go, we would drive from the football game, I would drive him, and one other guy, we called him Lingren, because that was his name, and we would go to, like, just these parties, and it would be us three, because we were, like, just the three who did that after football games, and we would go to the parties and, like, the burbs, and not, like, our school classmates' parties, which were, you know, busted more frequently, apparently. Mm -hmm. And, like... We would go to these, and I would drive, and those two would drink, and it was fun because, like, I had all of, like, the social status of going, and I didn't want to drink at parties anyway because they were always getting busted, and I always knew when they were getting busted. It was, like, my sixth fucking sense. Mm hmm Ugh, I'm drinking water. And, like, by the end of it, like, excuse me, I could tell when the cops were coming because we parties would be in the basement right and they'd be from like kids whose parents weren't home or whose parents were like just okay with it because that also happened um like you could tell because the upstairs people would start to get really like guys there would always be like one person who'd be like we gotta we gotta we gotta do something and it would be like it'd be fine like you could mm. always hear them talking about it somehow and by the end of it, I could tell when it was getting really serious, and I would always find the guys and just be like, we'd been there for like, you know, a half hour, you know, 45 minutes, and there were other places we could go. 
And I was like, guys, the cops are coming. I'm pretty sure I would like give them the hand signal that like only us knew, basically. Mm -hmm. And then I, they would they would see it if they weren't like flirting with someone, which like they were usually. I had to like sort of break it up, but they would get the number or snap or whatever. And like, and then we'd leave. And I remember there was one party we went to in St. Louis Park, which is like a pretty nice suburb. It's not the suburb, mm -hmm. but it's like a good mm -hmm. suburb. I remember we were in the basement. We had parked a block away or like not a block away, like half a block away on the other side of the road. And mm -hmm. so we were trying to specifically just, like, park in an inconspicuous spot that, like, may look like someone is parked between houses. Parking between mm -hmm. houses, by the way. Great strategy for just appearing innocuous. Um, but we were just sort of parked over there so, like, we could get to our car while eliciting, like, minimal suspicion. It was my car, so, like, it was extra cool, too. Um, so... We were down there, they had like a plastic table, and like part of it was like decorated to appear finished, but it was like a very basic square with like a laundry machine on one end, and in the other corner there was like a plastic table just full of just alcohol stolen from the parents' fridge, and like some like mixers like Fanta, which is not a good mixer. Um, and so we're like down there, and it's dim, and there's loud music. You can't really hear it from the top floor, but like. You know, if anyone in the neighborhood sees, like, a bunch of high schoolers are going to this house, they're having a party because their parents are home. You know, like, that would not be out of sorts. So, like, we ended up specifically um, <laughs> going. We, we got, I got the vibe and we left. And as we're crossing the street, um, we get into my back seat. And, or they get in the back seat, I get in the front, and, like, one of them, Puggy, lays down over a little bit because, like, he's a little too drunk, so, like, if, like, for whatever reason, they see us and they're like, what's going on? Like, he's just hoping that, like, or they see someone my age out on a Friday night driving, like, that they don't just get, like, what are you doing? Are you driving okay? You know, like, mm -hmm. that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. And so, we get in the car. I turn on the car, but I don't turn on the lights just to, like, wait it out. You know, just for kicks. As I turn on the car, I see what turns the corner. A cop car, and it turns its lights off as it patrols down the road. Like, it is trying to not elicit any suspicion whatsoever. And I was like, oh my god. And so what I ended up doing is I ended up like turning on the lights then and then just driving away, you know? And, like, mm. as I'm turning the corner on this other part, right, another cop car drives past and turns down the road that we came from. So it's just like, oh my fucking god. Yeah. You got fucking that lucky. could have ended so badly. And then I drove... Uh, them home, but we drove on this parkway, and it was just like going 55 in a 30 mile per hour parkway. That was the vibe. Yep. Speeding on the Cedar Lake Parkway. And if you're from Minneapolis, you'll know how fucking cool Cedar Lake Parkway is at night. At night. At night. Night, 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 night. Oh, that's not what I wanted. How do I dodge this attack? Probably run and outrun it like that. Ah, ah I hurt him. So yeah, that's my one of my many high school uh, fucking stories of going to parties in high school. Because I went to parties in high school. Can you believe that? I didn't. You didn't know that? Dude, no, I, I didn't go to I didn't go to parties oh, in high didn't? school. No. Sucker. 
I know, I'm a loser. Were you in marching band? I was in marching band, well, actually, that's yes. that's probably why. Yeah, that's why I didn't go to parties in high school. Yeah. That's exactly why. I didn't either. I was also in marching band. Well, yeah, Shane, you were also in the UM marching band. And those people have crazy parties, I imagine. I, yeah, no, one of my best friends was in college marching band. Stuff she told me, I was like, ooh. I've heard of the houses called Bone Zone. Oh my god. I know. I almost I lived know. in one. And I'm not talking about a trombone house. <sighs> How you doing, sleepy lady? I'm fucking tired, man. I want to, like... I need, I, I'm trying to decide if I want another Truly. I really should probably... Truly's make you sleepy. My body too. Truly's have, like, you know enough what? sugar and alcohol in them into, like, making me extremely drowsy. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's just, like, today has just been exhausting. It's, like, the overall vibes of today has been sleepy vibes. Like, as I took, like, a two-hour nap, and then I'm like... Yeah. I do have to... I'll be right back, though. Cause yeah, I'm no worries. This. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a fucking cult cell skelly house. <laughs> it's a skeleton. Yeah. I was in marching band. Dude, that is literally the reason why you were not at parties. Like, that's... And I mean that because you weren't able to go to them. Not that you weren't invited. Literally that you were too tired. In high school? Yeah, I went to parties in high school. I was one of those... One of those actually just, like, weird people. We... One year for New Year's Eve. Okay, so there was, like, these fucking business... Future business majors, which should tell you plenty, just, like, about who they are as people, right? Who they were in high school, you know? Like, it should tell you plenty. They started their own, like, business of renting out revenues to have, like, parties for high school seniors, like, 17-year-olds, because one of them was 18, almost 19, so he could, like, legally rent places. Yeah, venues. Yes. So, like, you know, and Puggy was, like, one of, like, the best friends of one of those guys. So, like, he, Puggy, and anyone who, like, Puggy vouched for could just get into places. And, like, so, I got into this one New Year's Eve reserved venue in, like, downtown Minneapolis. I think it was called Aria? Yeah, it was called Aria. That had rented out to, like, this high school party group so long as no alcohol was, like, served. Which, like, and no alcohol could be on the premises whatsoever. And, like, it eventually got shut down later that evening because someone had to be rescued in an ambulance because they drank too much. Like, oops. What? Sorry. So this, this group, like, they rented this venue, and, like, by the end of it, they lost it because the person who was one of the hosts, one of the business people, people running the business, brought a flask to the venue and drank too much and, like, proceeded to black out and need to go to the hospital. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, like, those were parties that, like, I got into. We did that- In high school? Yeah, and that was New Year's. We- I went to an actual event venue, Minneapolis, in New Year's Eve. Or, like, New Year's. Like, 1230. New Year's, New Year's Eve. And, like, I fucking got a girl's number at that, dude. Or her oh snap, God. rather. I got her snap, but then I totally just, like, missed every single thing about it. Because we were, like, you know, doing the things they don't allow you to do at high school dances, right? And, like, I definitely fumbled the bag. Because, like, we had to leave early. Because Puggy's fucking dipshit friend had to leave. And then we had to, like, got fucking cock blocked, bro. Uh, so that was, like a thing that happened and uh 
Yeah. That was a... Oh, young one. Gustav, I'm the king of Hyrule. Whatever, man. Hmm. There's some sort of mark. We should go there. Um. I guess the point I'm trying to make is that I got cocked blocked at a New Year's Eve ve rented venue party my senior year of high school. S so I guess I was one of the cool kids. But I was there because I was the driver and didn't drink. So, like, was I not one of the cool kids? I think I was one of the cool kids. You're a cool kid because you didn't drink and drive. Yeah. But, like, the socially cool... Like, I don't think I ever got a good read on whether or not, like, Puggy appreciated me as a friend or as, like, someone he could solely use. Like, I never quite figured it out. Like... Because Puggy is kind of that much of a sociopath. Like, he's that- he's like- he is actually just Bateman, in a way. Or no, not Bateman. Oh What's God. a better way? Like, it seems- his, his resting personality is like he's on cocaine. So, like, maybe he just, like- a pre he actually considered me a friend? I don't know. All I know is that I specifically got invited to his grad party for the after party. I think as a saying thank you for all the times I drove him to parties. And I got invited to his grad party after party, which was like, people were drinking Four Locos. I've never had a Four Loco. And like, before they changed. So, like, we were sitting around the campfire, and, like, it got rainy, and, like, the police came, as they often do, and they were like, you guys need to stop, because Puggy's dad is a little, you know, uh, one-track-minded, if you will, and, uh, Puggy's mom, Rita, loves me. I am Rita's favorite child, despite the fact that, um, despite the fact that I'm not at all related to Rita... Rita, you know what you could do? You could find them because Rita comments on every single Instagram post I make. Amazing. With, OMG, Wait, think... Big Julie, so handsome. Like, I was in Guys and Dolls once, and, like, I convinced this woman that I was the greatest actor on the planet for the way I played Big Julie in Guys and Dolls Jr. in seventh grade. Puggy's mom is the middle school mom? Yes! It's Rita! That's Rita. Almost every post she has to comment is Big Julie! Yeah, because I was in Guys and Dolls, Junior, as a as a youth in seventh grade. When I first started making YouTube Let's Play videos, that personality is the same personality. Found her. You <laughs> just found her. Yeah, Rita's Rita's very sweet. She's a very sweet woman. Um, I am her favorite son. <laughs> I say jokingly, of course. Puggy is her favorite son. No, uh... Oh, of course. But, like, you know, it's just... It's just so amusing. Because the, the age that I was when I started making YouTube Let's Plays was also the same age that I started, like, really getting into theater. You know? And so... When I was doing them, I would basically just be a Let's Player pretending to be Big Julie. Because I'd be like, doing my way too over the top performance. Like, you know, when, when you think of middle school theater, you don't have high expectations, right? You don't think, oh, this is the next off-Broadway show. You think, okay, we're gonna listen to a bunch of 12-year-olds recite some of the most beautiful language in existence and they may forget a line or five but like this guys and dolls performance apparently according to rita was the greatest theatrical performance she has ever seen if you go to my youtube channel and you find the 30 reasons not to be in a play videos that was the fall of that year after that show. Like, 
needless to say, Rita has posted, it has been over 12 years since I was in seventh grade. I was in seventh grade in 2010. Like, that is far too long ago. That sucks, dude. But, like, Rita lives, that performance lives in Rita's head rent free. Can you imagine, like, how good of a performance you must have given just to, like, have her, like, comment that for the rest of your life, basically? And you know that I'm not lying about this, that it impacted her this much, that that is how only she knows me. Like, it goes back to, like, the first photos I posted on Instagram, which are from, like, 2017. Good shit. Love you, Rita. Thanks for letting me stay over at your house for Puggy's grad party and not asking any questions. Oh no. Shit! That's hard. Hey! I... Okay. So yeah. Uh, high school... High school me was especially senior year me. In uh, senior year of high school, I was a fiend. I was... I remember, okay, I told the story on stream and it's now like a fucking evergreen moment on stream of me, like where I was a senior year and there was a sophomore who wanted me to ask her to prom. You know? <laughs> like, mm. the the reason for that is because we were messing around. Okay? That's why. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Like, she had a crush on me and I was like, newly single and I was like, Ah, uh, whatever, man. This is fine. Oh, whatever, man. We can do something again. Hey, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? like, you know what? I think I was seventeen and she was fifteen, so mm. you know it did not stay very long. Let's put it that way. Um, the other thing to consider is she is like now on her second shot. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm like what we call in the business uh, problematic. Oh, yeah. You're talking to the fucking queen of problematic, so. Children in this era? Yeah. I know, right? Am I out of the line of sight for that guy? No! No! Okay, so yeah, that's why I was like, I feel like it'd be weird. It was weird because, like, this was a girl who I was doing things with that like I did not advertise that I was doing as such you know like yeah mm -mm. and like another guy in my grade had a crush on the girl who had broken up with me so he was like trying to find dirt on me which was really weird because like I lived in his head rent free like, before that saying was, like, a thing that everyone says. Like, he genuinely was, like, pissed off at me because I dated a girl that he liked. And then mm. he didn't fucking tell or, like, like he didn't say anything to me. Oh, shit. Um, he didn't, like, do any indication that of that. And, like, I didn't even realize that he liked the girl in the first place. Like, he had yeah. been so off of my radar. Like... I haven't thought about you since like freshman year or sophomore year. Like, yeah, yeah, you're in one of my classes, maybe. Just, I, yeah, like, I don't know, dude. It was very weird. And so he was looking for like any dirt on me. And I guess like, I was worried that he'd use that as dirt, you know, like. <laughs> and then also, how do you explain, how do you explain that to your parents? Oh, mom, dad, I'm bringing this 15 year old prom. <laughs> Yeah. Like, how did I, what? What caught me there? Whatever. So, like, you get the idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> needles to say. Uh, senior year me was just like, dude, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want. I slid into a girl's DMs 
and then like Dude, we dated that's for a bit. What, that's what Dude. makes like fucking good ass uh, Jillian, stories. No, though. I slid yeah. into her DMs. We dated for a month and then realized we were better off as just like really good friends, and we are there you go. good. And yeah. like, and then like you know we still, but like you know we're at different points in life now, um, and then like just. And then I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. And then uh, after Snooly Single for number two, then it was like, well, shit, I can do literally whatever I want. I'm going to parties. I'm saying, fuck it, I'm single again. And I actually like this girl, but I'm single now. So I'm just going to go to parties and, like, meet other people. Fuck it, why not? And, like, that was kind of the, the mindset there. And that, that's how that happened because I ran into her at, like, the Jack of Hearts dance. And she was drunk, and I was like, "Are you okay? Do you need like a ride home?" She's like, "No, my my mom's coming." And I was like, "Okay, here, here's my snap. Just like, let me know when you get home." And she's like, "Yeah, okay." And uh, then like she was, I guess she just like had a crush on me beforehand or something. I don't know. I don't pay attention to these things. I was 16, 17, so like, whatever. Yes, we are in very different places now, babe. Love you lots. Don't. <laughs> You're just dating a high school douchebag. And not yeah. the cool kind. <clears throat> so, like, after that, then there was my whole phase of like, you know what? Whatever. I don't want to do that shit or whatever. Hmm. Uh, and then summer between senior year and college, I went to SOAR and tried to be a different person and to an extent I was a different person and I am a different person from who I was in high school it's hmm. the the thing I will say though is that like I tried being like cool in the way that I thought was cool but wasn't necessarily the cool like easily see throughable that this is not who I was like I could pass for it but not forever yeah and so I was just sort of in that vibe going into freshman year of college. And I guarantee, Aaron, that if you had met me freshman year of college, you would have probably not met me very much. So, with that in mind, 2016, 2015 into 2016 into 2017, like, those two years, those were my messy, messy, like, teenage 20 something years um so yeah please don't hold me accountable for anything i did between the years of 2015 and 2018 thank you those are my so far worst three years four years what do you think are your worst years jillian I had a lot of like when I moved to across the country for grad school I had a lot of like issues and I think that like I mean it was just like my very formative years yeah. were a little like you know and I mean like I'm glad for them because they made me who I am now but definitely like my freshman year of college and like moving away from my family really like you know because I was just in like new situations and different situations where I didn't know anybody and um so yeah I definitely um had a couple met like moments especially when i like moved to uh corvallis yeah um but you know what like i said they they make it fucking who i am now so like i have no your mistakes complaints. make you who you are today exactly like look i admit uh i have made some genuine relationship mistakes yeah you know? and i've learned from them and grown from them so mm. Like, exactly. I, don't know what else I mean, I like I said, I have point. no regrets because yeah. I, I know that like, I mean, I have some regrets, yeah, but like, nothing that like makes me stay like stay awake at night and be like, nothing oh my God, anymore. I don't shit. No, not no, not anymore. Yeah. There used to be but, times where like genuinely I would be like, ah, oh, I really fucked that one, didn't I? Oh, we. I was reading some old journal entries and like, I'm very impressed with the shit I put up with sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was genuinely impressed with, oh, I, no, I was the bad guy here, but I'm trying to justify not being the bad guy here. Yeah. You know, like, 
Ooh, weird. I think like now that I realize that like being open and honest and also having communication between like everyone in my yeah. life like is the most important things that I can think of and that's what I've been trying to actively do more too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean communication is the most important yeah. thing. Yeah. And like I was just not a good communicator, you know? I was concerned about like hurting people's feelings with like being honest, you know? Which mm. never really works that way. If we're being honest with ourselves. Um, and it was just, like, tricky. And I am not necessarily proud of some of the things I said or did. But I live with it now because it, I can't really not live with it. Yeah. So, this is what I Yeah, I know. I mean, like I said, I think, like, a, again, I would have not been the person I am now if I didn't have those formative like, years of my life. Right. So, 100%. like... You know, I have no regrets. And I probably would have been as good a friend as with you if I didn't have those years because, like, I got really lonely and so I decided to join ANS. Oh, let's go! ANS. Huh. <laughs> uh, they made a Discord server. Like, okay, it's really, it's really interesting. This is, um, really interesting. So there's a Slack for ANS students already. Like, th you know, you know how Slack is, right? Like, Jillian... I never use Slack except for, like, ANS stuff, to be honest. Yeah. So tell me, tell me, okay, when you think of Slack, what do you think of? I just think of it as more for business things, and I think that's, like, what the Slack was kind of used for, and I yeah. think, like, the now Discord's, like, used as a more, like, casual place, too. Yeah, and, like, I, I am 100% in agreement with that take. And, like, the Discord server got made because, like, you know, a student wanted to show intuitive, or like uh, intuition, or not intuitive, initiative. That's yeah. the word. Excuse me. Um, and get dude, it the, fucking together. And he's like been somewhat regularly involved with like, you know, community things, the student sections committee, and everything. So it's you know mm -hmm. fine. What what happens is though is that the Slack was supposed to be for that. The problem is, no one uses Slack for fucking no. partying or gaming. Well, and it also, like, I mean, you can talk to people, you can game with people, you know, it's just a lot, I think it's more user-friendly in my humble opinion, yeah, but really maybe is. just because I'm more user, like, I Joining know, I feel Slack like people are impossible. more, like, and it's also, like, more, like, I feel like people know Discord better than they do Slack, yes. too. Like, Jillian, have you ever tried to join a new Slack server? Yeah. How easy. But it's fucking annoying. It's, it's annoying. It's and it's so not great. fucking hard. And logging into different workstations on different computers, it's dumb. Like, no, just give me a synced account. Like, odds are, if I'm logging into Slack from a different computer, I'm not doing different work. I'm going to be doing the same work. And I get it for like business purposes. You don't want to be able to people to access Slack off hours. But then. How do you explain people who are like, I message you on Slack, did you see this? And I was like, no, I was at home on Discord, of course. Like, I don't, Slack is not made for fun in the way that Discord is made for fun. Mm. Like, that's, that's my thesis statement. And there are people in leadership who I respect a lot, but like, I, 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 I don't think you're going to get the Slack channel to catch on in the way no. a Discord channel yes. would. That yes. said, there have been, like, notable amounts of more of shit posting than I think I expected. Last night was fucking hilarious. Like, I'm glad that I, I was... stayed up that late because it was really fucking funny. Okay, as one of the vice chairs of the student section committee, I had to tell the guy who made the server that, like, you cannot advertise this as the official ANS student yes. section's yes. Discord. It can yes. be like everyone happens to be in ANS because it's like a friend thing, but you cannot say it is ANS or yes. we could get into trouble. Yes. So, like, he's aware of that at least, but I, I, uh,. I do get a little concerned sometimes just on like the, I don't want to be the Discord mod to be like, hey guys, cut it out. But like, ooh, No, I get it, yeah. Boy. I don't 
don't know. I mean, I again, I, but it's stated in there that it's not yeah. an official, you know. Right. It's just like, like there is probable con- cause for like miscommunication and getting it wrong. So I'm just like doing my best to not be like, hey, baby, don't make that joke as much because you don't know who else is in this server. Mm. Like, that's the thing. When I shitpost, I have to be very conscious of, like, who's in which server. Because uh, there are some servers that, like, have some people who have different takes than I do. Politically, socially, or other words. And, like, I don't want them to get the wrong idea of me too much. I like remaining a Switzerland most of the time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, to, to, like I I'm, see your point, though, definitely. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you, like, oh, you should not do X, yeah. Y, Z most yeah. of the time, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'll be like, don't say these words, don't whatever. But, like, I'm not going to tell you to not have a different political opinion than me. Um, And, like, I'll listen to it. And, like, I won't, tell, I won't say, oh, you're a stupid idiot for not agreeing with my opinion. I'm not going to yeah. do that. But, like, you know, I also don't want to, like, give off the wrong impression either. You know, that, like, there are certain things I'm maybe not as cool with, guys. But it's whatever. I'm not. I'm just a prude who can't take a joke. That's definitely it. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Don't even say Gabagool if you're not Italian. Don't even utter the words Gabagool around Don't me even, don't there. even talk to me about Mastelloni if you I ain't know, Italian. Right. Well, I gotta go. I'm gonna go make some Gabagool look, out there. Look, right I back. don't think there's anything wrong with being funny for the bit. If you know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm saying. always funny for the bit, man. There is a. Uh, I'll drive the a bit, bit to stops. its natural conclusion, aka when I don't want to do the bit anymore. <laughs> um, Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta go braheat my oven. Braheat. Braheat. I will say, chat, please don't hold me liable if you get links to my old Let's Plays. Please do not hold me at all, like, to a standard of today, please remember that you are judging a 13-year-old middle schooler in 2011, and think about the humor that a 13-year-old in 2011 may have consumed. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna use words like that no more. In fact, I ain't been using those words for a while already. So please, do not hold me to the standard. Or hold me accountable now, but please offer some grace in my period of problematicity. Or however, problematicness. I'm not who I was. So, chat, how are you tonight? I haven't, like, talked with you much. I've been talking with Jillian. How are you, chat? Have you been enjoying our bits and, like, our silly little stuff? You're sleepy? Long day? I bet. (sighs) Jillian has a lot of wonderful stories. Is she putting you to sleep with them? I hope not. What? Jillian, your stories are being storytime Jillian mode. Storytime Jilly. Right now? Uh, maybe. No, 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 not, no, not, I guess. Um, would you ever make, like, a Storytime YouTube channel? No. Like, the Tana Mongo? No. Why not? I'm not pretty enough, and I don't have big enough tits. You could, and you could. Hmm. Um, that just seems like a lot of time and effort that I don't have, and I don't care to have. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. I like coming in, causing chaos, and then leaving. You don't like reporting you know? the chaos. You like being the chaos. Exactly. Je suis, therefore, I am. But yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
No. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I think it's interesting, but I never like watching those kinds of videos, in my opinion. Right. You know? But, like, if you, could, I, I if mean, you granted, could make a I lot of money from good... it, would you? Mm. If you get, like, you know, again, if you... If you have a Patreon where you get, like, $20,000 a month. <laughs> to have do to... that? Yeah, but, yeah, you have, like, a ton of, like, patrons. Okay, let's say you make... Did I ever tell you my OnlyFans idea? I think so. Oh, boy. I just go through the entirety of 10 CFR 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I slowly start to take off my clothes. <laughs> As I'm reading, like... I've got, like, the MCMP manual. I've got 10 CFR 20. I've got... I've got a lot of options if I ever want to pursue this. You would... You would be... Dude, I think Arsic might come for your head. <laughs> Can you imagine I, the, learning MCMP while watching someone strip? The, but the manual is open. It's like you can Google and look up MCMP manual. Yeah, it's actually like, have welcome the code. to yeah, you need my to to OnlyFans, which is also an MCMP tutorial. Huh? Can you imagine? That would be amazing. That's queen shit right there. You gotta tweet that. Fuck yeah. Tweet that. I tweet this shit. <laughs> I would. I, maybe my Twitter. I fucking love Twitter Circle, by the way. It's the Mother best fucking fucking tweet that shit. It is, no. It's You're already going to be a COVID Twitch group. Um, it's... Oh. Oh, stop. Oh, um, stop it, you. Oh, wait. What was I going to tell you? Fuck. Oh, my favorite thing to do on first dates, if I ever get a guy back to my room, is I go and I show them the chart of the radionuclides. <laughs> I do. Katie Muma does that, I do that the chart too. of the nuclides. And it's so Arcane great. Muma did that too. I love it. Like, cause like I, I, well, I mean, like they ask me what I do, and then I go off on my tangents, and um, it's just like so easy. Cause they're like, how do you know how a element's gonna decay? And I'm like, give me, give me. Like, they're like, why are like things radioactive? And I'm like, let Boy, me show you something. We are learning about that today in my space nuclear propulsion class. I had a I had a guy that I don't remember. Somebody asked me, or I had a guy that came into my office hours yesterday, and I was like, I'm interested in nuclear space propulsion. And I'm like, you got a lot of money in that. There and it's is. Super cool too. The professor again. He's like teach. He worked at NASA. Same my, as my two before. Two before. Mm. Not that. It up. It was up. I hate that. That's hard. Yeah. Cool. I made it. I made it through the lost woods. So does voltage. I'm just sleepy because it's cold. Left. Thank you, Chain. I wish it was cold. It's still like freaking. It's been. It's 71 degrees Man. outside right now, which is ridiculous. 71. It's supposed to be 86 degrees. 86 freaking degrees on Saturday. I could tell how you leaned in, but you made your mic wobble. Arr! What's your mic? What mic do you use? I use a Tonner. Um, I got it from Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. Hmm. Um. But it was like I was like I don't need something super fancy. Bro, get your like, ass I didn't know game. I didn't know how like long we were gonna do this because like you know I paid you to pay uh, to play, um, yeah, Mario Sunshine, and then you keep inviting me back, and I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> how's that work, bro? Fucking get I, yourself a blue yeti. You'll thank yourself so much. I know, but like I mean, honestly, like I said, I don't see myself like actually like continuously streaming, you know, and like all I do is like just game with my friends, and that's the only thing I really really use this like yeah, mic for. Yeah, but like you should get one anyway. Uh, the guy I've been chatting with has like a fancy one, and I'm like, ooh, that's like so cute. He does like a lot of like video editing, and like does like a lot of like. YouTube is he an, and is stuff. he a video editor? Yeah, he did can video I, editing in the army. Can I like get him to make? You're not fucking... in the army, in the navy. Can I get him yeah. to make edits for my YouTube videos? Yeah, you could. Oh my god, really? I yeah. may have had an edit, like, and he's a pro Do editor you... too. He was in the Navy for eight years doing video editing stuff, so yeah. Oh my. I mean, wait, so it, how old is he? 30. Oh, okay. It might be weird then. What? I don't know. 30, like, is he, like, into that kind of shit? Like, if, if I were to be like, hey, I'm a friend of Jillian's. I'm a Let's Player on the internet. Can you uh, edit my highlight videos? You'd like, probably do it. Really? I don't know. I mean, do you want me to text him? No. I can't do that right now. I'm streaming. <laughs> well, I mean, like... I mean, like, okay, I so when I make my video essays, I also need an editor. Or I could do the editing on that myself, because that's like writing and directing my own movie. Like, I yeah. want I want it to be my vision, not like anything. But, like, someone to edit fucking highlight things, just scrub through footage and find, like, 
this timestamp. You know, like, that would be fucking cool as fog. You feel? <laughs> yeah, I feel, bro. I don't want to do it myself. That takes a while. No, I mean, like, honestly, if you want it, then I can... I can nah, it I'm not too worried about that. Mm. I can always Here, just I'll download clips I'll that people take. I do do that, Shane. I'm talking, like... The highlights that are like, uh, like a couple as minutes long. As long as you don't ask him to edit my freaking the Jillian compilation. Yeah. No, I would not make him do that. Good, because I was like, there's some stuff on there that maybe I shouldn't like. You know. <laughs> that you ain't ought to be sharing um, with a man you date. A man that I've, you know. Been man that you're, then you begin seeing a man. I, I do be seeing him. I've been looking around, I've been up and down, and all I see. Like that, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly like that. Is that the guy who's saying Santa Claus is coming to town? No, that's Springsteen. That's not Spring Springsteen, though. You Somebody is not sung by Bruce Springsteen. I'm so No, You stupid. Somebody is, uh... Oh, it's like some band. Uh, Kings of Leon, right? Ah, uh, oh yeah, it is. I've no one around. Yeah, it is Kings of Leon. I'm so good. I I miss trivia. I'm really good at trivia. Bro, Kings of Leon were like popular just when I was young enough to know that they were like a band, but I didn't know who they were, but I heard them all the time. Same with Nickelback. Like my school bus just played fucking tons of Nickelback. That's weird. I don't like that. Yeah. So... Ah, uh, oh, Gibdos. This is where I grew up! I would've changed on the prison bus! I'm a little boy who gave! That's so... I guess that I should've learned instead! Uh... Every memory of walking out the front door And my photo out of bed and on my bedroom floor Inside a scene, it's time to say it Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. Oh my god It's fucking Nickelback, to, dude We should go to karaoke in DC Nickelback is not good I, I, Nickelback I, is good No, it's not That's Nickelback, yeah there was uh, one Little League baseball practice I was at uh, where there was a Nickelback song that were, she goes like, It's a game from the heavens, it was easy to tell. It was love from above that could save me from hell. So like, um, I was listening to that a lot because it was just on the radio on my bus ride. And like, I got the bright idea that Comedy Gold would be instead of him saying hell or like L, like any L noise, it would instead go. <laughs> Which I guess still amuses me. Yeah, that's End of the Night featuring Carlos Santana. Yeah. Is that not Nickelback? And like, I just remember thinking, that was so fucking funny. Cause I would go, it was a gift from a It was easy to It was love from a That could save me from Like, I thought that was comedy. I was a strange nine-year-old, to put it very simply. Now that's comedy. Thanks. I'm glad we share this opinion. As Lord knows, not every opinion is meant to be shared. I had a pickle break, and now I feel regenerized, revitalized, revitalized, revitalized. Yeah. <laughs> revitalized. My God. Revitalized. That's what Dude, I said the I first time, and I was trying to say revitalized. I don't do that on stream. Please, like, eating, I would never violate pickles. anyone on stream. You know what? What if there was an edible, but it was a pickle? There are pickle edibles. You can soak the pickles in, like, a CBD tincture. And they'll... <laughs> or, like, cover them in the CBD oil. 
and it'll be the say it'll be a pickle stoner experience. Has Jillian seen the pickle green text? Jillian, have what you seen the pickle, pickle green? green <laughs> the pickle green pickles? text. What is pickle screen text? No. Shane, post the DM pickle me, green text. Or you can post yeah, the pickle post. green text. Yeah. I don't care. Post it. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I've been really into Thousand Island dressing again. I don't know. <laughs> Thousand Island dressing. Yeah, like. I don't know what it is about Thousand Island dressing, but I've been really like craving it lately. Why? I don't fucking know. My friend Steve and I were talking about it the other day, and I think that's why I've just been like on this uh, ungodly urge. Uh Thousand Island <laughs> Island dressing. Wait, uh Thousand Island dressing. The thing the thing that is on Jillian's mind. Or you could do it in Peter Lorre. Here you go. Oh, Thousand Island Dressing. How very exciting for Jillian. <laughs> you know, you could do that too. That also works. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm gonna... Can I read this out loud? I'm gonna read Fuck it. Yeah, read it out loud. Okay. Okay. Have you read Tell it Tell me about it. No, I haven't read okay, it Okay, read it aloud. Oh my god, I can already see this. Read it. What? Read it, Jillian. Went to the store on Thursday. Today's a Thursday. Bought me a half gallon jar of pickles. Love me some pickles. Eat one as soon as I get home. Tastes good, man, dot bat. So good, I decide I'll have a few more. Walk back to my computer and start to work, but the urge is not sated. Not by a long shot. Come back to life giving pickle jars several more times. Eat several pickles each day. I feel like this is written about me. After an hour, the jar is empty. 400% of my daily sodium summer tastes is so good. Is it written about you, Jillian? Maybe not, like, but me setting up my computer and then going back and forth with the pickle jar. Keep reading. Um, after an hour, the jar is empty. 400%. 30 minutes later, I hear a churning in my stomach. Not a light rumbling, more like the noise an old tub makes when you suddenly pull the drain. Initiate sprint to bathroom mode. Barely gets my ass in the toilet as a fucking waterfall emerges from my asshole. Never in my life have relief and horror up in such close bedfellows. After about 10 seconds of continuous flow, it subsides to a trickle and stops. Toilet water is green and smells like vinegar. Oh my god. Clean that up and go back to the computer. Thinking, thank god that's over. Not even close. Five minutes later, the rumbling is back. Even louder this time. Sprint to the bathroom. Lather, rinse, repeat. This happens five more fucking times. Oh my god. <laughs> it's finally all gone. The stomach is concave. I have never had less food inside my body. Completely queued up. Cleaned up. Cue rumble. Sit on toilet. But it's different this time. I know there's nothing in there. Shit out a tiny amount of liquid. Immediately feel better. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's just Sugar -free a tiny bit left. Sugar-free bears have a worthy opponent now. Yeah, I wasn't too bad. All at once, the burning fire of a thousand young suns sits upon my anal sphincter. I had to shout out pure stomach acid. <laughs> oh, Practically right wipe ass to prevent melting away like spaceship floor and alien. Crawl and shower, turn on cold water full bath, and lie prone while gently slobbing. Eventually, towel off and crawl exhausted into bed at 3 in the afternoon and sleep for 14 hours. <laughs> in retrospect, it was totally worth it. I love me some pickles. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's really good. Thank you for <laughs> showing me that, Shay. That was really fucking funny. Oh, that's good shit. It is a good green text. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Good Honestly, good though, I, like, I, I have never had the situation where I ate too much of something and I really regretted it. That happens to well, me with okay. milkshakes, unfortunately, now. I can't have like, big milkshakes. It'll just I it'll be a bad I feel night. like... I feel like I'm God, because I don't have a dairy allergy. Like, I can eat a pretty substantial amount of dairy and be fine. There's not allergies to dairy. It's an intolerance. Your body cannot... Literally cannot process dairy. Well, I feel like, again, like... Jillian, the last time I had a milkshake, of... it felt like there was a bubble just right, okay, blowing okay, up okay, in my go. lower intestine. Gotta go check out my chicken nuggies. Enjoy that picture. I'm gonna blow my nose. Holy moly. I gotta blow my nose.
This is douchebag voltage stream, I guess. Like, I can still drink milk. I can still eat ice cream. I can still drink milk. I just cannot have the amount of milkshake that was there, which, like, I drank so quickly because it tasted so fucking good. It was magically good. I would have another milkshake because I could tolerate the feeling. I could tolerate the feeling for another milkshake. Yeah, that's right. I'm crazy. What about it? I've never been able to in hindsight. Did the dairy give you the tummy rumblings, dude? That's no good. That is no bueno. Sorry, I'm reviewing something real quick. Cause like, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Right, I will go check out that, no, not, not that. There's a new hole that has opened up in the waterfall. Ooh, there's a new hole in me that's opened up. That's also a waterfall? It's a waterfall, yeah. Have you met people? I think I've asked you this. Have you met people who call it water? <laughs> your... I lived in Wisconsin for a summer. That, they don't call it water in Wisconsin. Mm. They call it water. Thing. They say water. You want I've water? Heard water before. You could be like uh, my my lab mate and say water. He says Ew. bottle of water. Because he's, like, <laughs> English, but mm. also American. So he English-American, my favorite kind so of he has the, ethnicity. This, the most interesting accent. And I think I've talked about him. You can drop just, like, Cockney lingo on him and he'll laugh because he hasn't heard anyone with an American accent say it. <laughs> like what? Like, what's Cockney lingo? Cockney lingo? Like, you and yeah. Ap Adam and Eve it. You and Adam and Eve it. The guy just fell down the apples and pears. I have never heard that. It's like, you wouldn't believe it. The guy just fell down the stairs. Well, yeah, I know that. She was all Got sixes a and sevens. Wing. Big So yeah, like, this is, I think you have to do this a couple times. I need the figure house to open. I hope this is... I don't want to do this figurine trading bullshit. I want to get into that house I can't get into. You know? Have you thought about just breaking in? That's what I'm trying to do. Give me a break. You want to few skid stones? Let's have it a go, then. I'm Moodle. How are you? All right, chat. Give me your best dipping sauce for chicken nuggets. Honey. Do you like... I like a honey buffalo sauce. You know honey what barbecue. I mean? Honey barbecue is really good. Fuck, yeah. I haven't eaten dinner. I went to the gym running, so I don't eat before that, and then I came home and immediately started streaming. I didn't eat dinner yet. Babe, what do you do? I'm hungry, dude. Well, I'm sure you are. I might have to go eat soon. <laughs> dude, like, when I- okay, this is gonna sound really stupid. Up until very recently, when I thought people met, said, like, let's go get wings, I thought they were talking about bone-in wings at, like, a thing. And I'm like, I'm not into bone-in wings that much, right? Like... You're not? No, not really. Why not? They're the best kinds of wings. They're fun. Like, I, I don't mind them. Like, they're just not my favorite fucking thing. Mm. But, like, you know, up until very recently, I thought that that's what people meant when they talk about getting wings. No, they're just getting adult chicken nuggets. Yeah. I, like, chicken nuggets. I've never 
up until 2021, I did not really realize this. Oh no, chickens hurt me. Well done. No, Coco, 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 <laughs> yes. So yeah, boneless wings are just adult nuggies that are expensive. And you can get them covered in stuff, which is like... You know, people said Wing Wednesday when I was in undergrad freshman year, and like, I was like, yeah, Wing Wednesday! And you could get bone-in wings, or you could just get regular wings. And I guess my brain didn't quite register. Regular wings means no bones. That's so weird. I've never, like, I mean, I don't know, maybe I just go, don't go out for wings. But when you're talking about wings, I'm assuming, like, bone-in wings. That's what I would think. And apparently, I'm wrong. And that, like, people just get bone-in wi chicken wings, bone chicken nuggets. Hmm. I, like, bone out because I don't like leaving bones. That's fine. I'm, you know, whatever. Like, I'm talking to people who, like, just don't like bone-in wings. Like, there's... People who They're just... so fun to eat. They're delicious. You know, you get all messy and saucy. It's great shit, you know? I'm just saying. It's just like, it, it never registered with my mind that like, oh, people are ordering wings. What do you want? It's like, oh, I don't like wings. You don't like adult chicken nuggets covered in like fucking garlic parmesan butter sauce? You don't like that? Huh, that's weird. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Not really. I don't like getting my fingers dirty when I eat them. Order late night wings for us. Ooh. Fuck. Uh. Ooh. Fuck. I'm the type of person to be. We have food at home, but like. Ooh. Fuck. They do sound really good, and I haven't eaten since. A little afternoon. Hmm. Alternatively, I could fucking throw chicken sandwiches in the oven. That would also scratch my itch. But I don't know if that would work for you, babe. Either way, I am getting pretty hungry. Which never really works that well. Okay, now we are happy to see you later. So there's like shit to do around the world. And I could go to Vale Falls. I could go to Mount Fresnel. Excuse me. Mount Fresnel's base. Jillian, what are you eating? Potatoes. Bubble mash from Stick and Stew. Wuh, wuh, really? That's cool. How are they? Well, here's- oh. Hey, Kaiser Gamer 9871 How are you? I'm really Oh, hungry. no. Ah! <laughs> what happened? I accidentally put my- up. Uh, Raising Cane's is good. Okay, Ra Raising I, okay. Cane's is like- Raising Cane's is Raising chicken and Cane's. bread, baby. It is chicken and bread. Okay, well, that's all fucking- Oh, okay. Let me tell my story about my potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I will talk. <laughs> so, my potatoes. My potatoes. I made, so I had fried chicken um, marinating. I make a buttermilk and pickle brine mixture. Bro. Uh... And I also put some like buffalo sauce if I have it. Let it sit for other overnight. And then I go and take it out the next morning and then I fry and bread it. Cause I'm a Southern lady and I love fried chicken. You gotta but, make um, fried chicken sometime. And essentially, also, like, I uh, was hanging out with a friend on Saturday, and I was so tired, and I was like, I'm not gonna make this fried chicken. So I was like, do you wanna get Taco Bell? So we got Taco Bell instead. Um, but then I had all this, like, chicken still brining, and so I asked my other friend over, and I was like, I need to go and practice my lecture. Do you mind coming over, and then, you know, I'll make you fried chicken. Um, so we made fried chicken, and then I also made potatoes, but I didn't end up eating all my potatoes. Potatoes. So I might overheated them. Not meeting my potatoes. Dude, I... Raisin canes are good. Raisin um, canes I've only had at a grad party 
uh, that ordered Raisin Cane's, and I was like, there is too much of a good thing, and that is Raisin Cane's. And I'm just like, oh no, I can't. I would love to eat Raisin Cane's for the rest of my fucking life, but I cannot. I can only eat it once every five years. Look, I prefer, like, Zaxby's, because I think they're pretty similar. But Zaxby's is more of a southern thing. Um, mm -hmm. I've never but... had... Never had it. No, I wouldn't Zaxby's know. is delicious. I don't think there's one in Knoxville. There might not be one in Knoxville. Yeah, you're gonna have to exactly. you're gonna have to show me the the spots. Like, there's a spot in um in Urbana, or no, mm. in Champagne, in Champagne, that is like literally it's called Fat Sandwich Company. Have you been to this place? No, but I didn't go to the student conference. You, this is like the place to get like the shittiest fried food when you're drunk. It is like. It is, it is heaven for the 2 a.m. fried food connoisseur. Mm. You can get a meatball sup with mozzarella sticks mm. and waffle fries in the sandwich. That shit slaps when it's like 2 a.m. and you're swifted. Mm. I have made it a point to go to Fat Sandwich every time I am otherwise in Champagne because that is like the one place where I indulge in the shittiest, greasiest, nastiest, most garbage food you have ever seen because it is there and it is 1 a.m. Yep. I I don't, there's not like any like really good like drunk food places in Corvallis, which kind of sucks. There is a place called Cheesy Stuff Burgers, which is literally but that a cheesy get, stuff burger. That doesn't get me. That like, give me yeah, fucking no, mozzarella love, sticks. Love, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, we are on the same page. We are on the same page. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, this way is the way I go. So, like, oh my god. It's just so nice. And so I haven't had, like, pains because I just... You know, the opportunity has never pres presented itself, but I've also never put myself in a position that I would get pains because... Uh, it was easy, yeah. Like they had one near campus. Yeah, to, they didn't get a Canes in Madison until after I left. No, there was a Canes up in Portland. I actually went to the opening day of that Canes too. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Well, and like, I don't know. I mm. I don't order chicken tenders that much, honestly. Like, I like them with pizza. I guess I don't know if I'm like embracing my inner like fuck it. Uh, I love- There was one- there was like this one place. It was like in the back of a residence hall. And then they had the best fucking chicken tenders. Oh my god. And their honey mustard was so good. How good was it? So good. How was- was this, uh, no, how good was this honey mustard really? A YouTube like essay. This, I'm not good at improv. I'm not- I'm not funny enough. <laughs> You're funny enough. Mmm. <laughs> You're enough. You're more than enough. You're valid Thank and you. special and smell like eggs. Thank you. You want to smell Thank like you. eggs. It's a feature that is desired. I don't know. I, like, I always wonder what other people smell. Like, you know, because like you, I like obviously like people have like very unique smells about them. Yeah. But it's, I'm always it's like. It's what you wash your clothes with and what you wash yourself with. True. Like, I use Tide Pods, and I have this, and and I use B Axe Men's Body Wash. Um, but what is your what is your favorite scent? I like strawberries. Strawberries are good. I just got strawberries. You just got strawberries. Sorry. I was just texting um, people. Um... I got strawberries tattooed on myself, actually. I finished out my arm sleeve. Yeah, I saw that. You are now a full-class yeah. druid. I feel like I feel... I feel so freaking, like, tatted now. You are a druid. If I didn't know you any better, I feel like you would be one of the people you meet in a fucking hippie commune Ooh, full of granola munching freaks! Sorry, what? 
I was talking with Luke. <laughs> hmm. Um. I like like really floral fruity sounds. Yeah, you you would. All right, so it's so funny. Um. So as I said before, my I have a younger brother. Yeah. And he had a really bad. I mean, when you're a teenager and like, well, like beginning teenage years, like you stink to high heaven. And yes. my brother did not get the like concept of deodorant. Oh no. Yeah. So like, my mom would always yell at him and be like, "You need to smell like a man." And it's like those like typical like, you know, like Old Spice and that kind of like. Old Spice, funny one. Yeah, you like you know, like I don't know, man. like ass and oh. all that stuff, like yeah. those um, quote unquote manly scents. So yeah. sometimes like I like to use Old Spice deodorant because like you know. It works better than feminine deodorant, whatever, but yeah. They had to and every ban... time I put it on, I'm like, I smell uh, like a man today. <laughs> they had to ban it's Axe Body Spray. It's called gender fluidity. At my middle school, they had to ban Axe Body Spray. That makes sense. Be in never... the boys' room, but not for the reason you thought. It was not because it smelled bad. It was not because the boys were using it as an alternative to showering, which no one did in middle school. Um, mm -hmm. It was banned. Because people were using them as blow torches to light other people's gym clothes on fire. That's the most fucking middle school boy thing that I can think of. That is also that also, is the truth, the gospel fucking truth. I won't be able to stream next Thursday with you. That's okay. Because my bestie is coming into town. And I'm so excited. Is it uh who I think? Do I know this person? No, you don't know the person. Okay. They're a friend from high school. I was in their wedding. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. those pictures. Yeah, she just posted a... Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, sorry. Oh, you're I, good. Sorry, I was laughing and uh, smiling at a text message. I need to go back to like... A you're <laughs> good. <laughs> you need to vomit. <laughs> you need to hack. <laughs> Ew, you're... That was disgusting. You, you that was really gross. You think Sorry. you're cute? You're not. Ugh. I think you're cute. You're not. You're not. Nope, nope, nope. Excuse me. That's Jesus. unladylike. Oh, lady learn, like these you, nuts across you your face. Learn some, like, western ladylike values. Oh my god, you sound like my mother. <laughs> Did I ever tell you? No, seriously, my mom. So have you ever heard of Cotillion? No. So, like, it's like a... It's like a, oh god, it's not like a debutante, but it's like a, basically it was like a school that helps you learn manners. Oh, so like okay. when you go down to a nice restaurant and like, you know, like what fork do you use? Just what do you do? off the table. Like that you know, and like make sure like you're very ladylike and like, you know, feminine. And like, I was notorious. Baby. Um, so I grew up religious and I grew up pretty much going to church every Sunday. Well, and the I- The good lord worked. wants you to be a good debutante. Yeah, and so, well, I, like, wore dresses and, like, dressed up, obviously, and, because I, I grew up Lutheran, and, uh, <laughs> my mom yelled at me so much, because I would always spread my legs, because I hated, I hate sitting crisscross, and now I do it all the time, ironically, but, um, yeah, so she's like, you have no manners, I'm putting you into the school. Oh my god. And I'm, like, in seventh grade, like, sixth or seventh grade, but I do know how to, like, they taught us how to dance, like, the foxtrot and the waltz and the, um, so the you South Carolina State dance. You got put in the manor school? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, Damn. I know how to, but I, I used to know That's how to bad. do the shag. I know, right? Oh my god, Well, okay, I hated you know it. what? It could be worse. Last night I rocked out to, or, yeah, last night I was rocking out to Round the, Rock Round the Clock and Rock and Robin because they're the same Ooh. song. But it was the last music that white people were able to dance I, to. <laughs> um, I um, I did a, d a tap dance to In the Mood. I mean, okay, okay, this is like the weirdest thing about me, is I have the most fucking weird ass taste in music. I have unironically been listening to Con Night Joe for like probably much longer than I should be. <sighs> but there's also, so You're the band that did Con Night Joe is called Red X, and it's like Red Next. Yeah. Um, and they have this song called Old Pop in an Oak that makes me feel like this is ADHD in a song, and I fucking love it. What? What? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in. Put it in I, it's music. like the put fucking music. weirdest song. Okay, I genuinely cannot keep going. I need to stop the stream and eat something, and we've been going for two and a half hours anyway. Uh, Hell yeah. And I need to take my contacts out. <laughs> So we're going to end the stream on that.
as, as I put as it in the music say. share, so uh, <laughs> what's curious? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to Twitch, and let's see if there's anyone that we can raid. <gasps> Travis is streaming! Yay! Oh, my God, he is! Yay! What, what emoji are we doing? Uh, Post your best, like, fucking your favorite voltage emote. And also make I sure the raid messages just tell Travis that Voltage wants to commission him. I should. Just tell him that. And that this is how you commission someone. Good lord, this Washington Commanders Chicago Bears game is bad. I'm not even watching. Commanders. Six bears. How do I leave? Seven. I want to join the stream. How do I join? I can oh. see when you're clicking in and out because the number of viewers ready to raid oh. fluctuates between six <laughs> and seven. All right. Oh, I guess at the end of the thing, then okay, now I get it. Yeah, yeah. I got it now. I, I'm stupid. It's fine. It's all good. Voltage wants to commission Travis. Just say something along those lines and spam your emotes. Let's raid Travis. Woo! Get ready for the fucking raid.